Witnesses on scene say the party that was driving was a Hispanic female, 30 years old, 180 pounds. Her name is Carissa. Gang car is headed to the stall vehicle southbound 280 to East 94 and is partially blocked. But a flash she flutters by. Five times, you know, her name is Hey, backseaters, I am uh, not 100% certain that we're actually transmitting, so uh, stand by for a minute just to make me, I'll do a little check in here. For most of you, most of you were with uh, Joe Kill and I a few minutes ago, but well, it looks like we're back. We're back on. A little technical Three. difficulty. Can you add Kilo Yankee Yankee 464, please? I don't completely understand it all, but. So, um, appreciate you spending some time with the first hour. Just, I'm sure a lot of you in the comments were thanking Joe, Joe Kill. A lot of you did that in the post this afternoon today, so thank you. It is, it is helpful for cops to hear that the public supports them. Extremely helpful. Because a lot of the rhetoric they hear in the media from some advocates... Walsh and Hollingsworth. Grandma Mike Romeo It isn't always clear. The, the problem is the media always tries to give the same amount of time to both sides. Golf, Mike, Romeo, 251. And that doesn't always reflect yeah, you. reflect where a majority of the public is. Please let me take go. And I respect the fact that they like to give equal voice, but sometimes... Yeah, Penneth, uh, on our call and we can back up. Sometimes equal voice isn't necessary. Because three, three. Yeah, 
Okay. Now, Wonky Way, the larger knife, black female, 30 years old, 50, uh, five six, heavy build, wearing all black clothing. Can you also have me and my Kilo Foxtrot 332? Which side? 26. 528, Copy. Copy, yeah. In route to the LAC, 2013. 533, I don't know if I'm still showing out on something, but if it is, can you clear me from that and add me to that last call, please? We're going to run downtown on uh, East 7th Street there. There's a. Assault with a knife it just took place. That's the radio traffic you just heard. Pat is off on his birthday celebration. Some of you started to celebrate early with Pat. I saw a picture of Cindy and Anita celebrating with him last night, but today is the, I think, the, the real celebra celebratory day. So wish Pat happy birthday. I don't know where he is, but I could guess. One seven eight angle. I could guess in about. Metro seventy cars truck for a pedestrian left hand side. Probably played a little a little bingo. Hey, if you if you watch the crime watch pages. Last update: the female was walking towards Wakuda Commons north of the address. Uh, if you haven't become a member of the Minnesota Crime Watch page, you really should. Got some great information. We just read on there a little bit ago that a trooper was struck on traffic on 94 near Lowry, I think. According to the air traffic, it was... Four shots fired, Earl in the mound, three shots heard, and then two more somewhere in Indian Mountain Park. Minor injuries. Now you're just hearing, you're just hearing, uh, you're hearing of a shots fired. 534, the knife was last seen in the female's right pocket. So we're going down to Wakuda and Savage. Let's see if we can get eyes on the female that assaulted somebody with a knife. The beat officers downtown St. Paul are in route. Bravo 710 for the shots fired. Oh, sounds more like hero fireworks. Where we're at. Job Kill is out on his own now. Uh, probably three, roaming seven, the east side. Three, one, oh, Joe will be the first one over there three, at the one, shot one, fired call. Fireworks right now coming from that area. Someone said it might be fireworks. Copy. They saw some fireworks. 307, copy. 306, I copy. Uh, I believe there's a Saints game tonight. They usually let out fireworks. Oh, there uh, we go. The Sergeant. Jesse Zilji on the air saying he thinks there might be, might be a Saints game. Oh yeah, I see fireworks over there now. Definitely he's correct about the fireworks. A lot of people, those fireworks carry a relatively long way. Hey man, teams that can run up and I just trust. Right, guys, since it was at 7th and Wakuda, we're going to slide down here. We're on 9th and Wakuda. It sounds like she was running north. 180 will be out with the party on the uh, platform in front of Lund Bank. Copy out with the party on the platform in front of Lund Bank at 2116. 3 7 one where the fireworks call came out. I saw those fireworks for an hour break. Route to 340 cops drive for a show up. Copy, 340 cops for a show up. 21. St. Paul Saints game. 1718 angle. 383. Defender call back. Route 340, you know those compass? Uh, we'll get me out with, uh, uh Second 
Calls are coming in left and right. Girl, arcade. Oh, that was a shotgun fired there. These are long ones tonight. Yeah. Long ones. There was a woman that supposedly stabbed somebody. Did you hear that call? Can he get through there okay or not? I don't know where they're going to go, but... Yeah, I wasn't scanning. Yeah, there's... I'm live right now, just so you know. In case you want to, you know, say anything bad about your wife or anything, you know, just be careful. <laughs> How are you? Happy Good, thank you. Uh, it was, she assaulted somebody down there at Wakuda in the 7th. So, uh, everybody's kind of looking for her, but then this shots fired call came out. And I kind of figured it was this year, but uh, there's there like call after call on the east side. Yeah. This is longer than usual. Though. This is a, yeah, you do a good this job. Is the, this is the prettiest shot I've ever seen. Yeah, pretty uh, Central Cluster, what, uh, what was the game tonight? Unit 128, Bring in progress. Iowa? Berg. Mail is banging on for I'll get out of your way so you don't got to navigate the game. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. Whoa, there it goes. That's probably the finale, anyhow. I gotta admit, that's a pretty good fight. Fireworks, huh? Alright, so there is a woman. Here, I'm gonna pull over here. This could be the suspect with the knife. I don't know if she knows who I am yet. Let's get a good description here. Black female, 30s, 5'6", heavy, all black. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? There's a woman that was just crossing the street. They're still looking for that woman with a knife. No. But this one's carrying a pan of food. I don't know what that's about. 
so. So a little technical difficulty. Everything's good though. Awesome. Darren McDonald is here, ready to take over. Should my camera fail again? Yes. He's a little shy. Okay, he's a little shy. Well, glad you're here because I got to get something out of my back seat. Which button is what or what? <laughs> That's this little handheld thing. I hate them. Yeah. I hate them. I hate them. All right, well, I had to get this bag of nerds. You know, these strawberry cluster nerds, they might be the best candy ever made. Do you eat them at all? They are. Yeah, they, I do like them. they are. There's a burst of energy. I'm here one of them. All right, I'll catch up with you. Yep. So the downtown beat, downtown squad trying to Got find, me, find the uh, victim. Two seven seven out of the lot. But seriously speaking, if you, if you haven't tried Nerds Gummy Clusters Strawberry. Rachel. That might be the best candy ever made. 312. And I'm a candy connoisseur. He's the way you're signing the squad, 2377. So tomorrow night, the NCAA championship of Fro the Frozen Four Championship. Three twelve last night. I had Energy was Center. Yesterday, that was into a mobile. I mentioned earlier that uh, it was almost yeah, the Boston Boston College final, but that would have been something for Boston, Denver. Denver won. I don't know who we'll root for. The Avalanche, of course, in the Pro League, knocked the Wild out of the playoffs the other night. That's a sad thing. The NFL draft coming up. Hopefully we're going to get a quarterback, but now the rumors are starting. If we don't get a good quarterback, we're going to bring Tom Brady back. Now that would be fun, bring Tom Brady back for a year. Can I get the case number over there? The I guarantee you, no matter how we're playing, they'd sell that place out. Right. No, thank you. You're welcome, 2127. Okay. No matter how old he gets, that guy can throw the ball. 517, can you go over? Two six two. I was not able to get in contact with the cop. Really, Tom is. Caller states her condo has courtyard access, and she'll need to go. Five zero six five one seven. He might be investing in some teams. 
three, five, six. It's not clear five, whether you can play when you're part owner. Oh, it's twenty one twenty seven. It is an unlabeled door. Door is four, four, nine. Go up the steps into the courtyard. Second door on the left. Five oh six. Okay, thank you. You know, five one seven. Go to four. Six fourteen. Go to four. One eight zero is coming. Six fourteen. So again, if you joined us late, Pat is celebrating his birthday. Mighty Mike is out here. Darren is out here. Kills out here. Got a full cat team compliment. Which I hesitate to tell online because that usually means. I'm just getting northbound on 35E from 94. Do you still have them on camera? Negative. Copy. 21, 28. I hesitate to say that because so often the criminal element doesn't want to be out here when the CAT team is in full force. Well back to HQ. Yeah, I just I did hear earlier today that uh, the fireworks for were for Pat, Pat and Cindy's birthdays. That's why they were double long for two birthdays. So Cindy and Pat, happy birthday from the St. Paul Saints. Case number zero six four five zero zero. You're both Saints. You're both. You're, but you're not just St. Paul Saints. You're bigger than that. Five three four. That's uh, State Highway Patrol radio for the East Metro that you're hearing in the back. Yeah, there was a reckless hey, driver. Up 35 that he was trying to find. Last night we had a couple stolen cars uh, dumped over here off of Jackson and Sycamore. Near Acker and Elk. I'm pretty sure we know who the kids are that dump them over there because they've dumped them there in the past. If you see cars out in the street, with lights on, doors open, call 911. Just say it's suspicious. We might not get there right away, but within 45 minutes, someone will handle that suspicious call. Because one of these cars was out there for four hours in the middle of the street before anybody called. And, uh, it's easier for us to catch them. Captain Reach, 
Rice Street, Bourne's Bar. tonight before we started Carboni's Pizza one of our favorite there of Randolph just uh, west of Snelling amazing pizza I would say just you know the cat team's favorite food as a team is Chipotle these guys, these guys love to pull it they have three, they have a, Lincoln, Nora, Lincoln, Yellow, David, Nora, Yellow, turning their lights on and off, tailgating, speeding. We get one more here for a lift assist. They, they kind of have a route between Chipotle, Mavericks, of course, which is amazing. Turkey, beef, and then of course, uh, Carboni's. So you can usually catch them at one, one of those three. Mavericks, Chipotle, and Maplewood. One of the two Chipotles in Maplewood. I drove for your car to check in the snow. Carbonis. Fog line, northbound 35 mile post 158 in Russia. 3-4-2-9-3. 3-1-3-4. For a reckless driver there on 94. Hey, how much is this person? Is that GVD car still available? Well, the good news is, Beck Cedars, Pat's off on his birthday, but we are going to go pick up Rev Spence. Yeah, if you want to come back, I think the driver returns. There are people standing around her have to know. Rev Spence going to ride with us again. Add a couple comments on how that went. Top five digits. 270. Jump channel. That's perfect. Did anyone on scene at the mission check to see if any of those kids had the key? I'm pretty slow right now. Take a look. Squad 306. 306. 306. The, uh, there's a male half involved in this DOA that we want to uh, detain. His name is Arnold Palmer. He um, could possibly be at the uh, speedway at Johnson and 7th. We need some squad to go there right now and find this Arnold Palmer. I don't know exactly what he looks like, and I just thought he was flying through there right now. 307, I just showed up on senior. I'll head towards Speedway. 306, for the first squad that finds him, uh, put Calzano and put him in the backseat of the cop car. He's going to be uh, detained for uh, this DOA for right now. I'm still trying to get more information. Don't want to copy, I'm on scene right now. I'll let you guys know. 307 to 371, I'm just a few blocks out. So. 306. Uh, sounds like it's a black male or a black jacket. You might have had like a veteran uh, baseball cap on. Black male, black jacket. Twenty one wearing a uh, veteran's hat. Black male, black jacket, maybe a veteran's hat. What was the rest? Sorry. Black male, black jacket, possibly wearing a veteran's hat. I mean, I'm not seeing him at Speedway right now. So I'm being quiet. I'm trying to listen. East side's got a, a 
investigation of a death going on. Right. Over there on the east side, and now they're... It sounds like he left the area just prior to uh, my arrival, and he got in a black uh, van, possibly a Dodge Caravan. It might have been like a... So they have a death investigation and there's enough suspicious stuff there that they want to detain a party. But but I'll take the accident and run with injuries. Two twenty four, two twenty two. Happy with the squad to back Fairview and University. Has been on injuries. Claire was not involved with the vehicle versus pedestrian. Vehicle left the scene. White oh, SUV, the home license plate eastbound on University. Parking lot for a bunch of people hanging out. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Happy Anyhow, never good when someone passes Should away if it's a 45 year old female that passed away. And, uh, we have an update that the female's possibly walking into the park. 306 to any squad that's by a computer. Copy, Hank. So it's apartment building over there on East 7th Street, 1700 block of East 7th Street. Apparently the, the sergeant. Maybe out on the East Paul. Yeah. Oh, you remember that guy that we yeah. that was in St. Paul? Did I get anything off? That we arrested last night? Same dude? Yeah, that's who they're looking for right now. So if you want to maybe float over here as well. Go ahead, go we have a new caller. Just leave him five cell phone. Hey, Darren, just for clarity, uh, when was he arrested last? Last he had his cell phone on Fairview. He was just arrested last night for domestic. I think it was just misdemeanor domestic. It was going to be an older black male, taller than Bill. Yeah, shoot me a picture or put it on the intel thread when you, you can pull part. it up. Is anybody working at Emmerich tonight? 534. Hi, this is Kelly. What was his name? I was going to look advised, for you. And we will all head to that welfare check. Copy, 203. Squad 523, can you please change this to a suspicious and clear and assisted with, I believe, 270 and 262. We're going to pick the rev Unless up, you folks. have anything else pending downtown, I can head towards that welfare check as well. We came back here thinking he might be parked by the building, but he is in the lot. So this party that uh, they're looking for was arrested for a domestic assault last night misdemeanor apparently he got released and now he is a suspect in the woman's death just another example why domestic assault is such a serious matter and how things can deteriorate obviously we don't know anything for sure at the current time but this is why law enforcement takes domestics so seriously and the legislature has Required mandatory mandatory arrest. Rev, how are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? Good. Hello, backseater. Hit hit and run out there in Fairview and uh, Fairview and University. 
Yeah. You know, I know you keep claiming to be diabetic, but you want to go. I'm not diabetic. You like them? Yes. Okay. Those are little kids bring me these every Sunday. Those are the best candy ever, aren't they? Come on. Every Sunday. Oh, my goodness. It's like the the flavor just jumps out into your mouth, doesn't it? (laughs) Right. All right. So, got a lot of radios going on here, Rev. You can just hold the bag. Feel free to hold the bag. If you can't can eat one, ladies potato chip. Can you use some of that you call I contact with him last night? Happy and you're headed to Walgreens on Alta Hudson? I am. Happy. So, all hands on deck, looking for the I'm suspect. I'm checking for a canine on channel 3 down to 1346. Oh, no problem. Center to assist fire on it gaining access to a door to access a patient stuck in a garage. You think he's any good at golf? No. <laughs> Six two nine concern. That was a miss. Appreciate name. it. Twenty one forty three. They missed. Well they were hoping they'd be good at golf with right. the name, right? <laughs> right. What what's Oh the... they like lemonade and iced tea. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. That could be. But if he's that age, he probably was born about the time that Arnold Palmer was playing great golf. In fact, I don't know if that iced tea and lemonade thing was made back then. Oh. (laughs) When he was born. So what's new, Rev? Nothing at all. This is wonderful. The weather. Did you see the weather? Uh, yeah. How how hot did we get today? Anybody know? Well, tomorrow it's going to be 78. 78. I got a call in pending here I'm going to run to. I'm not going to say where it is, but I'm going to run to the call in pending. It's kind of toward the other... All right. So that further clarification of the victim from yesterday was actually alive. That's good news, huh? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Well, that's that's, that's a sudden turnabout. There's another another woman that's dead. Yeah, one four zero. Hopefully, the last cut out. Can you hopefully a friend of the victim wasn't listening and thought she was deceased. Right. But you never know. I mean, it's... 367, the last three digits now of the she's a Jane Doe. Do Our friends um, can't even know. Watching one on camera inside the building for a burglary. Metro 2430 and 70 cars. Check the area for debris. I think the Timberwolves won. Did, what's his name? Was he back? Yeah, yeah, Carl Anthony Towns. Towns, yeah. 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 He was supposedly coming back tonight. Yeah. I don't know how much he was playing, but... Watch this. I bet it's on my... No, not yet. So, other squads are looking for a job. Check gas stations. Coming. Did you get all our pictures we were sitting in here today? I did, I did, yeah. <laughs> there's, really, there's really no good time to take a nap to get ready for working all night. You know that, right? I know. Because you guys just keep texting me. 309. 
Nope, John Scheller was texting me because I said, hey, why don't you send me? You were in the picture. <laughs> Tell people what you did. Some lady, lady donated some stuff, and uh, you met some other people. So yeah, uh, we had some uh, kid stuff donated, and while we were processing it, somebody else came in and needed kid stuff. Yeah, that's so the awesome. perfect size, the everything. It just the back seat is our amazing. You know us better than what you know what we need better than we do. And then we had uh, St. Paul Police. Uh, it's their community engagement team. They have some cadets. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, they came in, uh, hung out with uh, me and Andre. Randolph Avenue, Walgreens, Vernon Progress. It was really. Thirty year old native males. Oh, they get a little exposure to the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. We took them down on the street. Subject just left eastbound on Randolph. I'm listening. Uh, we five, took him down five, on the six, street. Field, wearing black sweater, black pants. Currently on the east side of Snelling. Right, Funny how some of these radios are louder than others, isn't it? Oh, that was a cool picture, yeah. Yeah, it was... It was fun. Uh, three young guys. Johnny Howard brought him. And, of course, he wouldn't get in the picture. All right, so listen up, Rev. White hoodie, jeans, and a backpack green hoodie jeans. These guys are uh, these guys are chicken cars. Okay? Yep. So see what you can see mister. Does this matter? Anybody on the sidewalk right now is probably So we'll go a block, two blocks each way from this end. Anytime people are checking cars, folks, they're either going to steal stuff from the car or steal the car. <laughs> you do, did I ever tell you what happened to me? You know I'm kind of short, right? I was sitting in the car. Four year old male conscious yeah. breathing. Overdose. And the guy checked the door. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't going to steal your car. Well, just your stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, really. That was pretty funny. I was sitting in the car, but I'm so short. <laughs> People always say I sit too low. Well, here's the thing you should have scared them. <laughs> Oh, I waited. I let him open the door. Hey, you know, the only thing worse than that is uh, going to the parking lot to get in your car, hitting the unlock, and thinking you're uh, getting into your car and opening the door and somebody else is, and somebody else is in there, right? That, that's bad. That's bad, right? That's bad. That does happen once in a while, you know. Especially if I'm at some place with a rental car. Right. You think you know what car you're in. We're looking for two suspects checking cars here. It's been, in, it's been in pending for a while. They could, they could have gotten away with the car already for all we know. You can find two for Chicago. There's Audi there. And nobody in. Really? Nobody in the seat. Well, let's go back and take a look at that. Choose something. The lights just went out. Oh, so they might have been in the house. Just for further information on this male, she was on foot. She did not have a car. She was walking around. She did seven, ten times. Yeah, the timer, you know. Was there any clothing description on him? Well, last night he had a very long black jacket, red tennis shoes that are pretty obvious. 
they was running up the assault cap last okay, night. Roger. I don't know if they, they dared to lose their tonight. I'll be 14 with one to yeah, uh, 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 and that same ball cap. It's like a veteran 21. space ball cap. Happy. Oh, they got gas. This car kind of lurched a little bit. We'll see what happens there. 169 out of the possible suspect. Truck? 2160, we're out with a cop. We're going to be making that trade. Uh, he's the Subject is still showing Well, we do not see any suspects checking cars in the two block radius. Negative. A Greenbrier and ISO. Three minutes. Nope. Three minutes. Nobody walking. Three or nine. Johnson High School, straight ahead there. Close up, across the street. Crafty, across the street. That Walgreens out there, Randolph and Snelling, just people, people steal from that stuff on a regular basis. It's very sad. Well, I think we're done here, huh, Rev? Yeah, I think we did our due diligence. Using the Were you working in the Skyways last night for the first round? Yep. Mm -hmm. A lot of people there coming by? Or a out? lot of people and uh, a lot of young, 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 young. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Oh, it was fun. Dude. Where were they parking? Well, anywhere downtown? Or? Anywhere, because they were walking far away. I don't know if they were coming from hotels, but... Uh, okay. Me and uh, Shallow were able to shake hands with them and direct them which way to go because yeah. it's still confusing. It's so confusing right there where we're at. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was you know because no, is there any Minnesota team in it? No. Yeah. No. Well, you know, it was almost two Boston teams in the final. Right. Right. That would have been something. <laughs> that would have been something. They call Arnold Palmer. <laughs> you mean the suspect here? The yeah. Guy? His friends. Huh? So his friends? Yeah, what do you think his friends would I don't know, but I'm, <laughs> listen, I, we don't, first of all, let me just say this. We don't know that he's involved in this death. Right. Okay? Just so we're clear. Arnold Palmer's getting a lot of bad press right now because the woman he was accused of assaulting is fine. Right? Fine. All right. But here's my question to you: If Arnold Palmer was the suspect, what do you think the murder weapon was? The knife. return back to the We couldn't. We wouldn't make that joke if he was really the suspect. Right. 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 Oh, I see. <laughs> through humor that you survive, right? right? Right. Glad it was you that said it now. <laughs> I, somebody else said it. I just <laughs> couldn't hold it. <laughs> oh. I actually saw Arnold Palmer once when I was like ooh, 11 years old. Wow. It's a true story. He returned back to the address if you didn't hear it. 
Thanks, Mighty Mike. Um, and uh, so the Keller Golf Course, this is kind of an interesting fact. The Keller Golf Course used to be the home of a championship competition. It was called the St. Paul Open. Okay. You can go back and look in the early 60s. And of course, my parents and my family lived right there. On a Keller Golf Course, well, on Atlantic Street, right in the back. And so, from our house, we could access Keller Golf Course without going through the official entrance to the. We were we were backed up right there on Keller Golf Course by the driving range. And so we used to get jobs collecting. There was there was no carts collecting balls back then, so we used to go and we pick the balls up, put them in there, and the guys give us a quarter for bringing a bucket of balls, right? Right, right. But also, when the open came, then we could sneak out there by the driving range, and, and there was a couple holes that came along the driving range. Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer. So, um, Keller Golf Course, you can look it up, St. Paul Open. Now, obviously, they build bigger and better courses over time. Right. But... Was, I didn't even realize how special it was when I was little that those guys would be there golfing. Can you confirm that? I have to get in. It's not coming up in here. 274 Winslow. Can you clear out the theft report? Can you clear out the off-duty assist? I don't know what year it was that Jack Nicholas became, but back then it was Sneed and Palmer and oh, a couple other ones, and Jack was just like the rising star. Oh, okay. Then in the late 60s, Jack Nicholas, he was the latest, you know, great thing. But I don't think I don't think he was there for the St. Paul Open. I think his his rise to stardom came later. Keller Golf Course. Yeah, I know where that's at. <laughs> I don't know a lot of, but I know where that's at. Now, where were the girl, girl fights at? Down 7th Street here. Yeah, yeah. At the chicken joint. Four fifty-seven Metro. Four fifty-seven. Have a good night. Have a good night. Twenty-two hundred. Those are back that you notice the scooters, they're everywhere. Overnight, they just showed up. Must have just put them out again, huh? Since yeah. the weather broke. We saw a truck last night, they were just putting them off the truck. Yeah, I, I saw that they were still pulling over and parking in strange yeah. places to dump them off. Got a call pending. There's 80 at West Team for a ride along. The new under the sun, but well, this scooter's not too quick. He may be like older, like us, and ride slow. Yeah, <laughs> that could be. Oh, he's carrying a package too. Open bottle. I don't know if it's open, but it's definitely a bottle. <laughs> I ain't gonna accuse him of open. Poor fella. Gotta ask him if he falls. What does he? What does he protect? <laughs> yeah, right. Him or the bottom? That's right. Six hundred eighty-three on that cable. Coming. This must be some really good chicken, Rob. Okay, we're gonna have to try it out. Right? Yeah, he's always got a line. I thought I, thought I recognized somebody in there. I want to see if that's him. Twenty-two. I think he 
recognize you. Dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, that is the guy, the guy in the back in with the black hoodie. Yeah. Black hoodie. Yeah. Let's give him a little light. Wave to him. Three one five go again. <laughs> he trying not Who do you think the Vikings are going to draft? Quarterback. You think they got to buy their way into a higher? Yeah, they're going to buy it. They end up with that Michigan quarterback. Of course, uh, your friend David Lindsay is hoping he goes to the Patriots. And it'd be a repeat of the last great Michigan quarterback. Right. Well, I just I saw the news tonight. They're even saying they, if they don't get anybody, they could ask Brady to come back. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Right? Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they're saying. Well, Brady would have, he's about to be owner of one of the teams. Yeah, that's what I heard. He's investing yeah. in one of the teams, right? Buffalo. So, I don't know what that means then in terms of his ability to play. Right? Yeah. Right. Got to do one thing that it's very important. So, one of our back yes. seaters passed away. You saw that? They sent it to me. That was my buddy. Mandy Hall's father passed away, and um, we just want to do a little shout, shout out for him. He was one of our back seaters. And, uh, yeah, Daryl Hall. Daryl Hall, huge L O P guy from every Friday. He would uh, watch us. And they could, he moved to the Philippines, you know, to kind of live out his dream of building a house. And and apparently he got a lot of people in the Philippines to watch live on patrol, too. But Mandy and him used to watch it when they were long distance. I mean, losing a dad is never, never. an easy, easy thing. And uh, I still miss being able to call mine. It's a hard thing, Mandy. We're very sorry. But he... Uh, one day we did get a chance to, he came out with his cane and his sandals on and we got to stop and chat with him once. So our condolences and uh, best wishes to you, Mandy, and the grandkids. I'm sure the grandkids are yeah. struck by it, so... She's, Mandy's going to try to go through the old live on patrols and see if she can see when he was on there. So it's a shout out to Daryl Hall. He sent me this picture. Who did? Daryl Hall. Daryl sent you that yeah, picture? Yeah, he sent Well, you got to get that to Mandy then. Is <laughs> yes. That, is that, is that he took a picture of... That's what? you and him at me. That's you and... Um, Pat. Pat, I don't know who's in the middle. Where, I can't. Where, where, where Mancini's. We? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Yep. And he sent me that picture the day he was here. Was that the day we were? Was yep. that was that Andre's birthday party? Or no, what? no, that would have been uh, one of the other events. Oh, uh, the, one of the events. Yeah. Well, just in summary, I mean, he was a great father. According to Mandy, a husband, an amazing grandfather to her children. He was a mentor to her and guardian. Daryl Hall was her rock and her best friend. January 29th, 2022. He lived the life that he wanted. And uh, nothing could get in his way. Once he was determined, so... Got some, uh... yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name, Brandon? Brandon, nice to see you. Watched this you all the time. This when is I was the up. Rev. Hey, hey, hey. Rev. I, I'm driving by. I'm like, no way. <laughs> Flipped around. I'm like, it is. Well, thank you for stopping. Yeah. 
So what, what are you doing? What are you hauling today? So picked this up in Apple Valley. Yep. I broke down on him. It was for a um, motorist assist. Okay. And Thank you. Got it. Got it all the way up here and didn't have the money. Oh jeez. So let's go back here. What was the cost? A couple hundred? Two, three hundred? Uh, two fifty-nine fifty. Two fifty-nine fifty. Yeah. But now he has to also pay the mileage. Oh. Back to the lot. Yeah. That's, that's the drawback. Somebody's waving to us over there. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Where's your home at? Apple Valley. You want to you want to advertise for Dick's Dick's Valley Service? Valley Service. <laughs> yeah, we got to get the owner some. Uh, Unless you are the owner. I am not the owner, unfortunately. Get the owner some publicity. <laughs> He's almost in the camera. Good you make it good you make it up here. Appreciate you. Well thank you for stopping. Yep. Appreciate it had, very much. Had to stop and God, say hi. God bless you for, yeah. for for get in front of the camera here a little bit. Right there, right? <laughs> get in front of the camera. We'll get we gotta get you on there we go. There we no a little further. A little further. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Casey's watching. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get this thing back. All we? right. Thanks for stopping. No Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate you stopping. So that was really kind of random to stop. Dick's Valley Service towing. You already had a run up here from Apple Valley and stopped in to say hi to us. But Mandy, uh, I wish we could do more to hold you, tell you how sorry we are, how honored we are that your dad. Well, he was in the service too. I forgot to yeah, mention yeah. that part, right? The service was. She posted a picture on the uh, backseater page of her dad in the service and her dad. That's her, my dad. <laughs> yeah, watching live on patrol. You know, it's just hard. He seems so young, to be honest with you. So darn young. <sighs> yeah. But I, I've often said, I told Pat, the hardest thing is when backseaters pass away. Right. That have been watching us, you know. You know, my dad and I, we used to watch, uh, every week we used to watch that show 24. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like live on patrol, you know. But no. it was a weekly Sutherland. thing together. Sutherland. You watch uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Right. right. Jack Bauer, yeah. right? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Jack Back Bauer saving the country and the world, etc. I don't know. So, um, I, 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 it's the fact that people get together to watch us is quite an honor, right? Right. You know? Because Jack Bauer is a lot more interesting, but however, <laughs> well. not realistic, but interesting. That's a big gun. Where? On his side. Yeah, that is, isn't it? You think it's a real one? Yeah, it's real. It's in a host and everything. Yeah, this is weird though, right? Right. I thought it was pretty pretend. <laughs> no, no, no. It looks like an old revolver. What do you think? I think it's uh, got a clip on it, so... The clip was brownish, it looked like. Yeah, this was all like. It. <laughs> yeah. Well, permit to holders can carry guns. Yeah. Really work or do you We really like don't like it that you carry them out, but it's completely legal. It's definitely a, maybe security over here. I don't know, but here's the most important thing. He's on your side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't hiding that. No. Well, let's go. A little more patrol. The radios have kind of gone a little quieter, huh? Yeah. Hey, Paul, and, uh, the front desk for us. Uh, kind of going to walk through. Well, if I haven't 
had a chance personally to thank everybody. Thank you for helping us get to a quarter million. Oh, oh, oh yes. Quarter million uh, subscribers on YouTube. And uh, with that, very shortly, we are going to uh, open up YouTube to comments in hopes that we have enough people on YouTube that understand our culture of being kind and not, and not calling each other names. So we're, we're not going to tolerate name calling. You can have differences of opinion, but don't be calling people names. And even it happens on Facebook once in a while, and we either have to delete or block or or something, but it for all back. We uh, oh, no. somebody yelled up to us down here. Copy. Well, maybe not to us, but probably Roll your window down if you would. See if you can hear anything. My window's down, but okay. there's some people there. Maybe they were arguing. Three dads are off. Good to have Deputy Kill back, huh? Yeah. It's gonna take a while to get the get feel comfortable coming back. Twenty two thirteen. Now we're just about wrapped up. We'll head down here soon. Kinda wondering how I missed the pizza. How you didn't get invited? Yeah. Well you weren't starting until I figured I figured I you were working downtown. Everyone. Working downtown. <laughs> Yeah, that Carboni's pizza is amazing. Yes. It? I'll make sure you get on the invite next. I didn't think you were working that early. I thought you were going home relaxing, watching a little basketball. Dairy Queen. The car was moving pretty quick, wasn't it? Fourth Street East from Earl. Yeah. Did you bring your flashlight or are you using mine tonight? Yeah, mine right here. I'm yeah. right in this way. Copy. Permit using it. Yeah, I quickly in that apartment building, right? But did he go in? No, I don't know. But 8195. I think 8195. he definitely parked in. Oh, he, he, I see the car. Yeah. He turned them lights off quick. Yeah. Columbia Heights is requesting assistance. 40th Avenue Northeast at Jefferson for a suicidal male with a gun. Back on Columbia Heights is asking for assistance. You think he's hiding? No, he's looking at him peeking. <laughs> Well, they were requesting you guys on the road. How's it going? Maybe you should just slow down a little on those side streets, huh? Did you hear me okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I said he was sorry. Yeah. I think it's two of them in the car. <laughs> so did you, um, I mean, I don't like generally talk. You heard, there's a lot of shooting incidents nationwide. A couple Memphis officers were shot. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, 
but did you also see the shooting incident in Chicago? Oh, yes. So, just a lot of, a lot of different things happening around the country. Obviously, there'll be a review of that particular case. Yeah. I mean, the, it, 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 I, no one really likes to talk about individual cases, but once you fire a gun at a police officer, officers are trained to shoot until the threat is neutralized, right? Until the threat is stopped. That's their training. Now, having said that, in that particular case, the big question is going to be when was the threat neutralized, right? Right. And at what point in the conflict was the threat neutralized? So, but I try to use those, anytime there's an incident like that, use that for our people to understand, you know, the reality of the job as to what's going on in the world so you can and you know let's just face it when you're in the middle of a gunfight emotions panic etc but that's what you have to train yourself for to be at your best when it's the worst right right so 96 rounds 96 so player 164 Just a and there's that poor lady over in South Minneapolis last month that had 97 rounds in her house. Remember that one? Yeah. You know, from a, obviously a gang drive-by, etc. Then you, the McKeever kid was McKeever, yeah. was sentenced today, 30 years minimum. Life. 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 He hired two people to go shoot the boyfriend of his girlfriend. And they ended up shooting his girlfriend. Yeah. So the other ones are going to be tried too, or sentenced soon too. And uh, Mary Moriarty was going to give them all a big a deal. They took it away and gave the case to Keith. Yeah, the Attorney General Keith Ellison. And Keith got a. Uh, Conviction slash confession, a right. plea. Probably they probably had to offer him a certain facility, but that's not a problem, right? Right. I've got to go out to High V tomorrow. Don't let me forget. Which High V? The Maplewood? The, yeah, Maplewood. They have some items for us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. There's a nice that's a nice group of people there. Well give them a little shout out, thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're lucky to have you do all that stuff. Because if you weren't doing it, then guess who would have to? Yeah, you could handle it though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just thankful we got you. Yeah. Very thankful. Kim Kim is very, very helpful and very supportive of the work. Well, we're going to drive out there and give them a little shout out then sometime. Yeah. Uh, Ivy and Maplewood. You know, the Cub people out here at, at Maryland and Clarence have been great too. Right. They help uh, Trey in a push for peace. They've been. Very, yeah. And very they help. Uh, the church and Pastor Patterson with 21 Days of Peace. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah. So I had a meeting this week with a group of public officials and the chief of the Metro Transit regarding problems on the trains. You familiar with the trains? <laughs> I am going to say that. Uh, 652 Dunlap. Well. Nothing was agreed to in terms of a strategy except the fact that 
as John Choi put it, put it, John John was one of the leaders of the group. We have to we have to win back the trains for the public. And I couldn't agree more. All right. Right. But there has to be the commitment on behalf of the political leaders to actually win back the trains. Right. Right. Now you you got you worked down there. I've ridden them. I've been on them. So, what would you describe? It isn't just the trains, it's the bus stops too, right? Right, the bus stops. I mean, over there in Broadway and Lindale, they're smoking fentanyl. In the bus stop. In the bus stop. Well, we can't say nothing, because they're now smoking fentanyl at the train station. Yeah, well, why don't you describe what you're seeing there with the trains and fentanyl? Well, the, glad you said that. The other day, I'm one of those people, why is aluminum foil locked up in the, when you go to Target? Yeah. You gotta ask somebody to give you aluminum foil because it's behind. They literally were passing the aluminum foil down the road, and everybody cutting them a little piece off. And down the road by the bus stop. Right on the train stop. Yeah. On the uh, what do you call it? The, the rail, right there. Yeah. And me and uh, Star Wars, we walked down there. They were so. Hi, so whatever. They didn't even notice who we were. Really? Yeah. It's, and you said today, I heard you say that you saw the lady with the pan of food. Yeah. That is a friend of ours. Okay. And she's been carrying that pan of food for three days. I don't know what it is. My wife thought I was crazy because she stopped me. <laughs> at Target yesterday and said, hey, Unc, I need you to tell my dad I got a new home. I found a new place. And my wife said, why does she call you Unc? <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So anyhow, on a lot of these trains, a lot of these trains have three cars. Yes. And the middle car has turned into the fentanyl car. No. I'm just going to cut to the chase, folks. If I was responsible for those trains, I would fix the problem in two weeks. And what would be the... It, it isn't complicated, is it? I don't think so. What do you have to do? What do you have to do, Rev, to fix the train problem? If you wanted to win the trains back... If that was your goal, what would you do? I'd have put a heavy police presence. I, on each train, on right? On each train. All right. There's only eight trains going back from Minneapolis and St. Paul. So, two cops and an ambassador on each train, right? Yep. 16 cops. Right? Yeah. And so, and what would your first strategy be? I'm not sure. What would you do? Well. No smoking? Well, no smoking, right? What else? Yeah, and pay your fine. Your uh, fee. You what? Pay the fee. You gotta pay your fee to get on, right? Right. And if you're smoking fentanyl, guess what? You're going to jail. Go to jail. Right? So, enforcement, of, it wouldn't be that complicated. The problem is, as all problems, is Metro Transit doesn't have enough police officers. They're down 60, 70 officers as well. Minneapolis. So we're at this meeting and the Metro Transit's asking for help from Minneapolis and I'm looking across the table at them thinking, you're down 300, 350 officers. How are you going to help on the transit, right? Right. So I'm not blaming Metro Transit for being down, but the legislature, if you want to fix these problems, you better figure out a way to help us get more cops. Because we have a real problem. St. Paul isn't too bad. We're not too bad. But Minneapolis, Metro Transit, short cops. All right, so let's assume, assume you're going to enforce the pay, right? Uh -huh. That would drive 90% of the problem off the train. Number two, if you're smoking anything but fentanyl, you're going to jail. That's 100% of the problem off the train. Bravo, right? You. Now... Let me ask you a question. Can you check your cat messages? 
Do you think the cities of St. Paul and Minneapolis want that to be the solution? It's a question. Can you pull down, please? No, they don't. Guess why? Because the problem just moves off the train to the streets, to the streets right? So part of the solution is having a plan for what to do with people that are smoking fentanyl on the trains and in the bus stops. Uh, either a place to go where they can divert from jail, get some treatment, or, uh, but you, you so it, it really depends what you want. If you want to win back the trains, it there requires moving them off the trains. Right. Wilson Avenue, Unit 102, but here, here's the problem. Secretly, secretly, some city officials want the problems on a train. Why do you think that is? Because they're not in the street. They're not on the street. Yeah. So basically what you've created is a mobile homeless shelter, right? Wow. So, yeah. I don't know. But at the core, we don't have enough resources to deal with the problem anyhow. There's the problem. And the governor, the legislature, I mean, they're assuming we're just getting by, we're getting by, we're not getting by. The city of Minneapolis isn't getting by. They don't have enough bodies to do the job. Man, we yeah. we have a situation that we're dealing with right now. This is Hang up. The Marshall Park, 14th Avenue Southeast, coming from the Code Blue phone. Marshall Park, 14th Avenue. What's the situation? We got a mother, her daughter, who just had a baby. So it's three. The baby was born one pound five ounces. Oh. The mother OD on fentanyl. They brought her back. Oh, that's that one, yeah. Yes, and we're dealing with that every the same. They're taking turns going in and out of the hospital. Now the grandmother of the little baby just had a stroke. I'm like, this is terrible. What can we do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why you gotta have services. If you're gonna, whatever you're gonna do, you gotta have a, somebody that can intervene in the lives of those. Now, I saw that thing that Omar is working on over Minneapolis. Minneapolis. I think it's the South. Over yeah, South. the Somali community has a robust program for opioid addiction. Yeah. And it's a really growing show problem. Show me the video. Yeah. And they have a location over there that there's providing some services. They do not have services in Ramsey County. Which is something we're going to try to work at. I'm going to drive by High V so you give him a shout out, okay? All right. Did you say a woman named Kim you're working Kim. With? Yeah. Kim just texted me and said, Rev, I'm off on weekends. Be there on Monday. <laughs> I knew that's where you were going. I know you well. I want to know open up the comments on uh, YouTube we are going to require you to be a subscriber in order to comment and you might have to be a subscriber for a day before you can't just log on make up a phony account and then start pounding stuff in there so um, we, we're going to welcome your comments but we want you to be consistent with what we've always preached and which is really be kind. just be kind in no need for name calling, etc. It's not a forum for political speech either. And uh, we'll probably regulate how often you can post because there's 7,000 people trying to post at once. Yeah, you can't keep up with it, I know that. Yeah, well, it's Facebook, you only got a couple thousand, but. So, here's the High V in Maplewood. This is it. Formerly, it wasn't Cub, what was it? It was way back, it was Rainbow. Rainbow? And then it was another one after that. So they've been very helpful is what you're saying. Very helpful. Thank yes. you, Ivy. This is it, we come right here. 
Thank you, thank you. They donated some turkeys too, right? Yeah, uh, we've had turkeys from here. We've got Easter baskets, uh, summer stuff. We is, and now we're uh, venturing into helping with what we, our homeless outreach. We're gonna try and get them some some snacks. We're finding out that this is this is dinner. And how do you feel giving fruit cup for somebody for dinner? Yeah. Uh, we use the well, uh, we, we would at least if, the beef sticks. Yeah, beef sticks are great. Here's here's the High V Fast and Fresh Express. It's open all night usually. Uh, like I said, we had some people show up with some uh, nice. And I would think they were gently used, but uh, very nice kids clothes. Okay. And the lady came in and immediately she said, I need something for my child. We looked at the child and there it was. So it really worked. It's really cool. Yeah, it makes you feel good. So, that area that we were at, there was an attempted motor vehicle theft of a Hyundai Elantra. Wow. So, somebody did try to break in and steal a Hyundai there. Which means they probably got one further away. Right? Yeah. Just don't run into a Sergeant today. Williams is up there. He's at the scene of the car that was attempted to be stolen. But because the East squads were tied up on that other domestic related homicide, they didn't get that call, didn't get to the dispatch. We might have scared him away, though. Caller was receiving suicidal text messages from a party named Sequoia Rain. Wanted to make sure she's okay. The phone was pinging to that location, 246 meters. Right so, relatively quiet out here in Maplewood as far as calls. Snelling Avenue North Unit 227. Assist medics. The obvious. Six five ten. Oh, copy. Cancel. Oh, that's not good. DOA, of course, is death on arrival. Just scanning some of the calls here. Relatively peaceful in a big city right now. Which is a great thing. <laughs> Talk to a state trooper. Uh, he said, so I get Rev Spence. <laughs> he says, live on patrol is all that people talk about when we uh, arrest them. <laughs> Would he? Uh, I just want to. Okay. The, uh, the other day. Anytime you have any problems.
looking at Alder Torino, which is right behind it. Little, little drive by. Just doing an six clear. Copy fire twenty two thirty five. A lot of people come here. It's a gold mine. Yeah, we all got it. Here's clear on three. See the vice. Okay. I believe so. This is packed. That's uh that's probably the last Parking spot. <laughs> nah, you go ahead. Room for one. There you go. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. What's going on here tonight? Concert? Wh who's playing? What's it called? A bunch of, A bunch of, A bunch of among artists. artists. Well, I know they got names though. Can you give me yeah, I do. I'm just gonna clear it over the head. You just wanna clear yourself. Yeah. Cock out a little <laughs> bit, yeah. Looks like fun. It looks like fun. <laughs> check, check this out. Got a Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just enough, just enough to be dangerous. My name is Bob, but you can call Bob, me Blea. Okay. Blea. Blea. Bob, Bob and Blea is not the same thing. I know. That's Rev. His name? Rev. Rev. He's a he's a spiritual leader. Period. Spiritual leader. I'm a, I'm a spiritual He's a healer. shaman. He's okay, a shaman. Yeah. And I'm a spiritual healer. Yeah, there you go. All right. There you go. Yeah. And me and Ma. Is... Yeah, what's your mug name? I don't have a mug name. Hey, you gonna you know give me what? one? Just give me one. Uh, cool. What's your name again? Spence. Daryl Spence. Spence. Um, hey, you got a colored cigarette. Yeah. Okay. okay. Spence is his name? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. Do it's, Spence. It's, do Spence. Do, do, like son. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, do Spence. I gotta be careful because when I translate, I might say a bad word. Okay. No, I'm not <laughs> gonna shit you. Just say do Spence. Yeah. Do, say do Spence. Just kidding, but y'all be How about Shiji Dua? Shiji Dua. Shiji Dua. Nice to meet y'all. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, have some fun. That's all. Jesus, it's crowded in here tonight, yes. Rev. They got a nice crowd. They're checking everybody with metal detectors. Did you see that? that? It's a metal detector, so nobody brings any guns in. You got half of the fact it's going on that fighting anything. There's definitely hundreds of people in here. What's in the trunk? Anything good? Anything good? Close the trunk. Oh, trunk's closed. <laughs> Close the truck. Here's one of our guys working off duty. There. See the sheriff's truck there. Got a couple of our Hmong uh, deputies work off duty here to keep the peace. Important job. Important job. They got private security here too, in addition to our. Right. That, that was private at the front door. Yeah, it's good teamwork between private security and the sheriff's office. You really you don't have any problems here, to be honest with you. But uh, what is this? Used to be a Perkins, you know. Yeah, way back, that. way back. Oh, is it open now? What is it called? The kitchen zone. Oh my goodness! This is run by Unisom. They have a they have an Asian Asian uh, restaurant in there now. It says kitchens owned by Unisom. Yeah, they. Jesus. Somebody Christ. is thinking. Somebody's planning ahead. Gentlemen, how's it going? Gotta lose those trillies before you go in, right? Right. 
Hello Fresh. Four, four, six, clear, four. 4242. Was this, it looks more like a, uh, what's the one to make the cakes? Perkins. Nah, not oh, Perkins. Baker Square? Baker Square. Pretty sure it was Perkins. But I could be wrong. It looks more. Baker like... Square was up on Wiper Avenue, north of here. Oh, okay. But, uh. Well, it's good to have a presence for any of our other uh, cat team members that are working tonight. You can swing through the Unisom a couple times. There's a large number of people here. And uh, just make sure the little, little visibility helps keep the conflict down. Well, they closed that trunk and cleaned out. <laughs> Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade in the trunk. We were cleared in for medics. Uh, the 14 year old just complaining of possible eye pain in her left eye here. Well, I'm gonna ask why this cigarette turns colors. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta know why does that cigarette turn colors? Is that a vapor? Oh, this is like a vape. Well, show it to me. I got never seen a color one. What is that? Let me see. It turns colors. This guy, look, check this out. So blue, yellow, red. Does it depend whether you're blown or not? Or how, I don't know. What, it just, it what just, determines it just, the colors? Mr. Sky. What's Mystic Sky? Mr. Sky. Mr. Sky. Does Mr. Guy have Sky have any cannabis in him or not? Hey, young man. It's just straight up. It's just straight up. Five percent. How's it going? Good to see you, sir. Hey guys, doing good. Good. How are you? We can't make sure you're safe. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm a sir. Yeah. I'm yeah. Right. No, no, I don't smoke. But yeah, thank you for the offer. Nice. Nice. Okay, it's 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 thank, thank you. Thank you for the offer. Yeah, a little bit. Bit. How many pri how many uh, private security guys you got here? I saw one in the car. You got a couple here. Yeah, we've got about probably six in the building. Okay. And then we got one in the parking lot. And just you then? Two off duties. Me and um, Tambago. Right Tambago's so, over there. Yeah. Good. Yeah, That's so, quite a crowd here tonight. Yeah, it is. I think they're having um, some sort of concert here tonight. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what someone's told us. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, don't fall yeah, in love with any of the young ladies here. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. Whoa. That is one of our deputies that's working here. So, he worked the. The Somali uh, soccer tournament with me. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. You know, I got the the winning uh, most valuable player's jersey. I heard that. <laughs> he called me OG. He said, "OG, you supported us the whole time and gave me his jersey." I thought that was so cool. I got it too. I don't. Know. <laughs> That's cool, Ralph. Is. I mean, I didn't ever know they were so intense. Yeah, soccer's big. Man, and they were from everywhere. Especially for Minneapolis to win. There's a movie out now called Next Goal Wins about a team that represented its country in the Olympics for years and years and years and never scored a goal. Oh, wow. I forget which country. They'll probably tell us online. Hey, this is Aldrich Arena here. There's no event here tonight, but... Last week we did have an event here, and um, if the event is over a certain size, they're required to have deputies work here. But if it's a smaller event, then they're not required to have us work. So it's a smaller event, three to four hundred people, and somebody got shot at. At the conclusion. <laughs> Yeah, we're in our crate. Got a truck that just went over the media and health partners and trying to get a plate on it. It's all over. Going over the grass. Uh -oh. Which direction? We're going to be going up our right now. Hey, uh, it's like uh, Whitehall now. He will run down there and see if we can be of assistance. The deputy kill is trying to pull a car over that's running on the grass. Looks like North on Clark. It's a white pickup. Probably 
That's the one thing I, I like about working with the sheriff. We get to go to diverse events, things we wouldn't normally go to. And you know, not just be there, but be a part of it. It's, it's real nice. The fair is a plus. David Lincoln Roberts, well, you go to like the Somali events and the Korean events, that's, that's where you learn. Yeah, it's really real, enjoy real that. life right here in the city of St. Paul. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Real life. First is the 521 case. Looks like he's coming off the case right now. Well, we'll see what happens. These guys catch him before he gets There's another caller that's... Uh, yeah, I see that keeps calling the past few nights, though. Keeps people up. We don't know that Pat's at the Sherwood, but anything about driving the wrong way in traffic. He's driving the wrong way? Lane of traffic, yeah. Sounds like a drunk Bravo, driver. Andrew. We're a little ways away. We think they pulled them over, but we don't know. So they moved a the food truck over here. You know where Casey and Bradley? Yeah. Hop on the ground. Casey and Bradley. My adjutant. Kyle, are you with him? Yeah, we're out here. Lisa Clemens sent us a documentary about the gang evolution on the north side of Minneapolis, right? Yes. That was an amazing document. We might have to post that on Live on Patrol. Highly recommend it. Do anybody understand some We're of the... We're trying to get her out. We're going to rip her out. Sounds like she's extremely drunk and refusing to come out of the car. Driving all over the side roads. We don't go out looking for DWIs because they're looking for stolen cars. But if one comes across, we will take whatever action Four males necessary. Four and females blocked the car from the vehicle, jumped out of a red Chrysler van, threatened the caller and her son. Her also possibly known as they're sending text messages that are threatening in nature. And nothing physical. Currently driving up and down the street. Last drove uh, south, or excuse me, eastbound on Rose towards Jackson. One minute ago. Okay, well, that call we gotta go to. Doing something, Gabby. Did they say 11 rows? Yeah. 526. Other side of 526. Red Chrysler van. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Copy landmark towers, 59 West 4th Street. Hey, Checking the air for a TV one. 27310 on the sub. Copy. Checking the air for a TV one. Alright, we're starting to turn up. I'm going to pick these things up. Uh, be a little bit. Five twenty one keys. We put me on traffic. David Lincoln Robert, three forty eight. Two twenty takeoff. Happy five twenty one keys, that's my two fifty two. 
The caller is going to be in a blue suburban parked in front of the address. Can you check my BC for a party by the name of Nicole N I C O L? Quick finger there. <laughs> Motorcycles are out. Please be alert for motorcycles. I don't ride, but man, I just, I've seen too many accidents. <coughs> Do you ride a motorcycle? Nope. I have. I'm sure I'd enjoy it. I haven't. But I don't ride a motorcycle for the same reason I don't drink. If I rode a motorcycle, I'd really want to ride a motorcycle, right? Right. That might be dangerous, right? If I was drinking, I might drink a lot. Yeah. I never drink, by the way. Just if anybody wonders, did you, did you, did you used to have a problem? No. I think I've told this story before. I. I had relatives that did a lot of drinking at our house and at their houses, and I used to see my relatives. You just scared this man, he can't even drive. I just, I didn't want to be anything like my intoxicated relatives, so. Clear right. Not very clear, like half clear. No, they was bricks on it. It's a rev we're looking for, the red van, right? Red van. Hey, why don't you keep track of this? Read, read me, like, the last few. It says the comp's in a blue Suburban or something? Metro 1570 cars, information on a driving complaint. Westbound 484 from Pilot Knob. Crap is up. Just read the middle. Black Nissan yeah, truck. It says last drove by one minute ago. A little louder, a little louder. On roads toward Jackson. Yeah. Comp is in a blue suburban park in front of the address. One subject inside vehicle named Wheel. 19 year old black male, thin build, black hoodies. Of subject Wheel is Claymore. Is what? Claymore. That's his last name? Yeah. All four subjects, black males, all around 19 years old, went to school with comp son. Son is uh, currently with the comp. Okay. So, but we're still looking for a... We can scroll down a little bit. We're still looking for a... Red Cat Chrysler van. All right. Which may have left by now, but... We are going to find out. St. Paul's 
got a few cars over here dealing with this one, huh? Yep. southern United States along the 35E corridor. Think about this. If I took a right on, to get on 35E southbound, I could drive to your state in Texas without a stoplight. Without a stoplight. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yes. All the way down to Texas on that road without a stoplight. My cousin lives in Texas. Yeah. One block off of 35. Isn't that something? <laughs> One block off of 35. Yep. And I, no one told me that till I flew down. And I said, wait a minute, that's gotta be the same 35. Same, same freeway. And yeah, I told him that is just amazing. I'm not saying it would be the most interesting drive in America. Well, no. But, uh, a lot of open land down there through Iowa. Yeah, Cleo, you Nebraska. know, Cleo's down there now. He went to Nebraska, drove yep. to watch his nephew play basketball. Be fun working the fair again this year, huh? Oh, yeah. Can't wait. check on that. We're going to show you that uh, drunk driver car on Case. Trying to get home at 521 Case. Didn't quite make it or the kill was following it and uh, it sounded like Williams was Williams and Odegaard were ready there at the house when it showed up. For the record, kills first to rest back at work. <laughs> DWI arrest. Oh, right by the blue store. Got a few few lights going on there. She's an adult, right? Yes. Yeah. She's pretty drunk? Extremely. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. She should have known better. Every panel on her car, she smashed into something. Something? And she lives right here? Uh, no. Uh, f f friend. F 521? Oh, I lives thought the car, car registered to 521. Yeah, the car is someone else's. It's like her nephew. But this is someone else's house, and her kids are in that house. Oh. So they're checking to make sure the kids will be okay. Um, but 
So, Deputy Kills first rest back, DWI. I know. Huh? Good work. He said she was stuck between an electrical box and a pole and was bouncing back and forth trying to get out. They're going to do field sobriety now, backseaters. That's, they just uh, took her out of the cuffs. They're going to give her a chance to do the sobriety. St. Paul a Police Department is taking the arrest. Yeah, they have a, a TZD. Yeah. Ward Zero Death. Is what TZD stands for. Hey, Rick. Kyle. Kyle. Oh, yeah, give the back seaters a little play-by-play -play of what you saw when you got here. Oh, it's horrendous. Okay. I've, I haven't seen driving conduct like that in quite some time. Well, well, Kill described her as uh, what? She was going over medians, all sorts of stuff, and and luckily we were we were just to the north of them, right where she was heading, and. Uh, yeah, she pulls out onto Case here, and she's driving several blocks in the complete opposite lane of traffic, and uh, stops abruptly at an intersection, then takes off, and sure enough, we light her up, and of, of course, this is where she resides, so she kind of gives us the whole, uh, I live here, it's fine, I'm home, that yeah. kind of thing, and uh, I explained to her that's not exactly how this kind of thing works. Uh, yeah. It's not like you get uh, you get to the safe zone and can. Uh, Kill. What do you think you're a DWI car now or what? She's stuck up on an embankment no. up against the pole. No, it's just smoking the tires. Really? At arc right and Well, and, uh, and she went through the. She didn't make the turn. And she went in between the power box and the pole and got stuck on the berm going into the parking lot. Yeah. And then we start getting the story a little bit and. She she decided to go out to the bar, according to her, only for an hour or two. And she's got a, about a five-year-old and a seven-year-old or something. Seven and eight-year-old, uh, sixteen-year-old watching the kids. Here. Yeah. So we had to make contact with the teenager at the house, make sure he's responsible because you can't obviously leave these kids unattended. Probably. Right. Right. So did you did you talk to him? Yeah. Mom's coming. Mom, okay, good so, yeah. Well, it was all good. We're, yeah, well, but luckily she could have. Well, I just want to know if if St. Paul's TZD wasn't available, who was taking it? <laughs> I, I, know, but, I, I was fell it, on was it Odie. Or I fell on that grenade a, a couple of times a couple of Fridays ago, so I'd like to think I'm. Odie was going to rescue. I'm off the hook for this one, but. Yeah. Backseaters, DWIs are very important, but they're time-consuming, and uh, it takes a couple hours to get a DWI processed and into the jail. So, no, so we have special DWI cars that do this all the time, and one of them from St. Paul is here. In fact, that's what Alex was doing, if you're wondering where Alex, Alex was our DWI car, but then he had shoulder surgery. So he's been out uh, working light-duty investigations until his shoulder gets better so all right well good work thank you thank, thank you. you and uh keep us posted fortunately we can uh clear from this one shortly and go find some yeah yeah it was nice to say paul be sure you thank sean for course, taking it thank you <laughs> officer sean mcmanus took the case st paul Well, that would be the worst if you had a drinking problem, huh? Yeah. I mean, obviously, a drug problem is probably worse, but nothing worse than having a drinking problem. Been there. <laughs> not that good. Our apprehension unit was out here today, right on case. Same block right there. Arrested a guy on a warrant. A felony domestic assault warrant today, and the guy ran up into the attic to hide. <laughs> Refused to come down. So we authorized SWAT to come and get him and mace him out, but 
once he knew we were serious about coming to get him, he came out. Smart guy. Is that Mike? Call Mike Martin. Ask Mike Mark? Huh? So you gonna ask Mike what? I'm gonna have him take it for a little bit because he's going home at 12. Hey, boss. Hey, are you able to take it for a little bit before you go home? I know you're going home midnight or so. Sorry, I tried to connect to the car. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, are you able to take it for an hour or so? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right, if I can figure out uh, where the stuff is, I'm going to send it to you. Sounds good. Okay. I'll, I'll watch the camera. We'll, we'll plan on 12. I'll send it to you now. We'll plan on bringing it back at 12. Sound good? 11 and 18 weather, one's up to the snake, and the children's yelling she's had a lot to drink. All right, backseaters. Uh, welcome back to uh, the, it's no longer the Tahoe. It's a uh, Ford F-150. And uh, I know a lot of you probably saw what happened to the Tahoe a few days after uh, Thomas Siegelstrom took it. A guy that we were uh, looking for and, ev and then eventually chasing back up at a high rate of speed into the Tahoe. So um, poor guy didn't, didn't have that nice Tahoe for very long. But I got the... Uh, and a Ford F-150, so, which is, it's nice, it's different, it rides differently, but we're over here on the east side of St. Paul, uh, it's been a pretty busy night with things going on, um, you saw Darren and others helping with the, uh, looking for the gentleman who had left the death scene earlier, uh, who eventually came back, and, uh, we had the lady that was stabbed someone or threatened them with a knife downtown and the sheriff and the rev were over there. You got to hear uh, Joe kill, so it's been a pretty pretty good night. We did, as the sheriff said, we had a SWAT call out earlier today. Our apprehension team had gone to apprehend an individual that was wanted for multiple felony warrants and uh, the um, he just didn't want to come out of the house and he uh, was barricaded in the house because of the violent nature of the felonies in his criminal history we uh the sheriff authorized a, a SWAT call out, but as just as SWAT was starting to arrive, the the gentleman I think uh, got his sense back about him and decided to come out. And uh, I, I will say that his I don't know it was his sister. I don't know if it was his mom was the other lady that came, but uh, they helped to kind of calm him down once he came out, which was very nice. Um, and that's not, you know, I'm, it's sometimes people are so intoxicated or struggling mentally that they don't think straight. And, you know, that can be very dangerous. Uh, this gentleman, well, this individual was not that intoxicated I actually stood there while they talked to him for a minute and uh, so I think he, he realized it was going to be futile uh, to try to stay in the house so, 
just uh, as they were trying to stop that white pickup there that the lady was Happy in that appeared to be very intoxicated. The um, I stopped a black Impala that was flying up Dale uh, Street uh, from Minnehaha and swerving in and out of cars turned out to be some young teenage boys that were uh, I think spurring the driver on to be driving crazy but uh, fortunately he was uh, very polite and I advised him and then I talked to, to them for a, a minute about uh, just being safe. So we're over now in the central district, kind of on the edge of the um, I-35E on Jackson Street, where I think the, the uh, sheriff and the rev were there while I had the car stopped responding to another call, but um, it's always, you hate for crime to happen, but it always is a little more exciting when the radio's cracking and you can go from kind of call to call. Hopefully I didn't just uh, jinx that, but it's a busy night. There's a lot of people out. Before I forget... First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that sent me uh, birthday messages and I received some cards on Wednesday for my birthday. It was, uh, it was really cool to get all those great things and the, the treats that you dropped off Stormy and uh, for my birthday. And, you know, when you get old, you don't always get... Uh, a lot of attention on your birthday, but I definitely felt like a little kid again. And speaking of birthdays, I want to give a shout out to. Sorry, I gotta turn the radio on to Mark Kelly and the whole Kelly clan who's getting together this weekend. Um, happy birthday, Mark. Although I'm a little confused because I heard it was your birthday party, but then. My Facebook said your birthday was earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, so I don't know if you're trying to get two birthdays, um, but I'm on to you, okay, so don't push it too far. Uh, hopefully, I will get a chance to come up there tomorrow. And of course, Pat's birthday is today. So, um, and he owes me a ride along because he had asked me before if he could ride with me tonight. And then he stood me up. I was staying. Uh, I had a course on him, and he stood me up. So, I didn't. realized that he had actually gone out to celebrate his birthday, so hopefully he's having a good time. I'm gonna uh, cruise up Rice Street here for a minute. I know it, earlier it was really busy at Bourne's Bar, and uh, I just want to see how the crowd's doing there. Hey, 71. 91, 71. Cleveland and Pioneer Road B Bravo 2. John Charlie Adam 120. Copy Cleveland and Counter Ruby Boy 2. So that Cadillac is pushing it there. So we are going to pull them over. Copy. 
113, I'm code 46, can cancel. Copy, 286, can be clear. I don't know if you could see that cute little puppy that he had sitting on his lap. Um, I told him I was going to take a, his puppy. It was going to be the fine. But uh, my wife probably wouldn't be happy with me bringing home a puppy. Oh. Sorry about that. I had the sound on. Uh. I'm just going to run him quick and uh, make sure he doesn't have any warrants and then uh, give him a, a piece of advice to slow down, which I already kind of gave him. Um, and uh, New message. New message. New message. 43 had me on the missing cell phone. And it registers to his mom, which is what he said. Can you go on mute for a All right, backseaters, I'll be back in just a second. Well, 
one six four one in custody. Have you one in custody? Twenty three twenty two. I told him he needed to show everybody the puppy. So that's his punishment for driving crazy. He was proud to show the puppy. Suspicious vehicle at Barnett Kia. No vehicle information yet. Look at that, look at that cutie. <laughs> All right, have a good night. So uh, I had to mute for a minute there. Um, Kyle Williams wanted uh, wanted me to mute. Uh, he had thought he had found a car that we were looking for. It turned out to um, not be the right car, but it matched the description. So you know, one of the things we're we're always looking for cars that are stolen that have had. VIN switches on them that have been involved in crimes and sometimes we just don't want to air all that information uh, when we're live because obviously we don't want the bad guys to hear it. So one of the things that uh, this this pickup truck definitely doesn't look like a police car. So people are constantly flying by and driving crazy uh, around me. I think the. Uh, Tahoe looked a little bit more like a police car, so... Uh, I don't know what it is tonight. I, I think people want to drive nuts around. they don't hit me.
picture, it's funny when you start talking about puppies, it brings out the best in people and then everybody wants to say how proud they are of their puppies. So um, I have two at home, but they're, uh, they're going on, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. Uh, they were dogs that were literally rescued, that were abandoned as puppies in Puerto Rico and uh, rescued and then sent up here. And uh, people ask, well, what kind of dogs are they? <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know. They're just little. They're little dogs. They're cute. But they're... Uh, They're good dogs. They like to cuddle with us. We're straight um, down by university no, close to home. the uh, state capitol. Yeah, we're here. Yep, same here. He was talking about the guy running to the cops, but they don't know why. Yeah, there's a shots fired over here. They're going to stop and talk to him about he took off. Yeah, there's plenty of shots fired. I mean, don't assume he's armed or anything. So I'm looking at the uh, pending calls here and the calls that are assigned. I can tell you it's, this is about as busy. With all the different locations. Whoever's firing them must have a vehicle because there's several shots fired from. It's about as busy as I've seen the, the computer-aided dispatch in a long time. 2732 Mounds, you got Holiday on the suspicious male's attempting to steal white male 30s, 5-7, black shirt, pants short. Earlier tonight, uh, I went up to the city of Mounds View where uh, one of our uh, team members found a car we had been looking for for quite a while and they were able to recover a stolen car. And uh, the car had been stolen out of Maplewood then recovered in Mounds View. But uh, we had been looking for it for quite some time. I uh, had the 
honor of speaking to... I literally watched him go through that white picket fence. I swear he got out to Johnson and then I put um, him Hey, come here. Come here. Show me your fucking hand. Present the sheriff at the uh, Minneapolis Area Chamber of Commerce uh, leadership cohort um, to to go there uh, with other law enforcement professionals and uh, answer questions about public safety and crime and um, anything people wanted to ask us. It's a uh, of people who meet to uh, become better leaders within their own organizations. Some were nonprofits, some are um, businesses like U.S. Bank, and um, and they send individuals there to uh, get to better know the community. I'm going to go talk to this gentleman. I'm a little concerned about him. Hi, sir. It's the sheriff's office. Oh, not sir. I'm sorry. Um, ma'am. Okay. Can, I'm just worried about you. Okay. Um, maybe get out of the street. So car doesn't hit you. All right. Have a good night. No problem. All right. Well. I think we successfully got her to move up out of the street. She was all bundled up and I thought it was a guy and then she talked and sounded like a young lady. She was a lot younger than I thought. So. So we're back over on the east side now. Anyway, I, uh, Inspector Billy Peterson was there from the Minneapolis Police Department. Um, they also had a lady there that was a crime, uh, for lack, lack of a better term, a crime victim advocate who works uh, in the homicide unit is embedded there with the investigations to assist um, people that are victims of crime. And I apologize because I don't remember her name, but she was super nice. And uh, she used to work for YouthLink, which when I was a Minneapolis cop was great resource for us for homeless youth and youth that were struggling with different issues um, and then uh, 
there was a deputy chief there from Bloomington and who I hadn't met before so um, it was kind of neat to have different people hey boss Hold on just a sec. My car is trying to connect again and it's not working. Oh, you'll figure it oh, out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I said, Chew, I'm going to steal your feed for a minute if you're okay with that. Yeah, no problem. It's your feed. All right. I'm borrowing it. No, no. <laughs> right. you know, it'll be back to you in a minute. Flash mail, heavy and full. All right, backseaters, we're back here behind uh, 865 Johnson Parkway, and um, Deputy Williams uh, spotted a guy that was running from the police out on Johnson Parkway, and uh, Rev and I set up a couple houses south here, and anyhow, Williams, Darren, and, um, and uh, Odegaard apprehended the guy. I believe 326 is uh, primary and the shots fired, correct? I don't, we don't know that That's this right. guy's connection to the shots fired. In fact, Can I have their location, please? I'm always a little skeptical when there's Parkway. shots fired over 10 different addresses. Right. And, but I he was in the area of this one over on Johnson Parkway and they do yeah, not, they haven't found a gun yet, but as you can see, they're searching the suspect and, uh, Trying to make a determination if a gun's been tossed. So we are locked in in the alley here. But uh, just stole the feed from Mike just to let you know what's going on over here. Apparently the guy hasn't identified himself, so they're going to use him fingerprint machine, mobile field fingerprint machine to determine who he is. Oh, that's what they call it. Ibis, yeah. Okay. So, I don't have my headlights on. If I did, you'd see the officers a little better, but they're there conducting a, a search and a determination. Behind me, the St. Paul police have blocked off the street, so... We're stuck, Rev. We're stuck. We're here. Where's the? And it's all your fault. We're like, <laughs> we're like in a line in Disney World. We just we can't get out. I, I knew it was coming because as soon as you said we got him, we got closed in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Darren, I ain't seen him in a couple of days. I might have to mess with him. caught in. Now there's another car behind us. Jeez, how'd that car get in? <laughs> oh, that's the same Paul Oh, alright. Someone told me that. Well, we are going to try to maneuver out of here, Rev. Even if we got to drive off-road. Okay? Yeah. Sometimes, like this call only requires... One or two a call, one or two squads. To be honest with you, right? I agree. <laughs> and this is a lot of these are young cops. You go ahead and take my spot there, buddy. I'm gonna see if I can get out. And she ran around. Now she's driving. Well, she can't get out either. She's hoping to get out like me. I think I see a possibility. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Here we go, Rob. We're going to go through the neighbor's driveway. There you go. There we go. So this road is blocked, but this one over here at Brittany's place is not. It's a great organization here. They help young girls been there a couple times very 
Very impressed. We're out. We are out. Gonna send you back to Mighty Mike for a few uh, to his last 15 minutes here until midnight. I'll just wait. Is your phone connected? Is is the phone connected? I'm all good right now. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm gonna I'll tell you. <laughs> what I need to do is get like a little kid to ride with me to show me how to use this stuff. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send it back to you until midnight. All right, sounds good. Because Rev, at midnight, Rev turns into a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. We can make pumpkin pie out of them. Yeah, very <laughs> or, or, or princess. I don't know which it is. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, you see the princess. Yeah. yeah. 2165, I can start. Sorry, which one is that? 2165. Back seniors, I think you're back to me now. Under Sheriff Mike Martin. And uh, we're on the east side. We're gonna go north on White Bear Avenue from Maryland here. Head up towards uh, some of our busy spots in uh, Maplewood. So that was a great uh, apprehension there by Kyle Williams. No man with LT star mounts. You know, we don't know whether or not that person is involved in the actual shots fired until they do some work. But um, if someone's running from a scene like that and uh, they're not a victim, they're not hit. Um, it's. Uh, do you have one? Good idea. Yeah, I didn't think it was Excuse working. Excuse me, it's a good idea to get him in custody and in. see what's up. He, uh, they called for an IBIS. I know um, the sheriff mentioned it. IBIS is a a little portable okay, thing. It kind of looks like a cell phone. And yeah, we're exactly there, yeah. You put their finger on it and it reads our thumb and it so reads we in the alleyway. their fingerprint transmits yeah, it back an alley behind 873 Johnson Parkway, uh, transmits the uh, image of the fingerprint back to a database that then runs it against uh, known fingerprints and within a few minutes usually you get a hit back telling you who the person is or hit back saying their fingerprints have never been on file, which is pretty rare. But it's it's a great tool for the street officers. It's also a great tool for identifying um, victims who are um, unconscious, can't talk, that are, are injured um, to find out who you know their next of kin is or, or try to identify them and, um, let people know they're at the hospital or people who are deceased um, to you know identify someone who's deceased and if they've ever been booked or fingerprinted uh, then you can get a good idea of them It's not uncommon, and then obviously you get just your basic uh, you know, knucklehead criminals who don't want to tell you what their name is, which I always think is funny because uh, eventually you're going to get fingerprinted, and the cops are going to figure out who you are. So all you're doing is making the time longer that you're in custody. So we're
we're still northbound on White Bear Avenue. appreciate all the people that subscribed to YouTube on Monday when uh, Steve Lydon and I were holding our telethon to get people to, to subscribe to YouTube so we could get up over a quarter million subscribers and uh, we surpassed that and we really appreciate it because the more we can get out there and educate people about what's going on, the better. Hopefully tonight you've learned something you didn't know, maybe about the IBIS fingerprint machine, maybe about what a DRE is, a drug recognition expert, or drug recognition evaluator, depending on who you talk to. Um, They, uh, they're very well trained in how to spot the signs of intoxication or whether it's alcohol or drug use um, and what type of drug it is or what class. Um, is it an amphetamine? Is it an opioid? Um, and and they're, they're able to determine whether or not someone is under the influence especially in drugs, alcohol, uh, you know, they're standard field sobriety tests, but with uh, narcotics, it's, uh, you know, it takes a little bit more training. And uh, Minnesota has a very robust Office of Traffic and Safety that trains our DREs. And, uh, they're currently in the process of um, testing two uh, devices that can determine whether or not someone's been using marijuana. Um, and uh, apparently, both of those devices are so somewhat similar, and uh, they're both field testing really well right now and uh, hopefully it'll give us an opportunity to determine whether or not someone is impaired I found it interesting uh, the director of the office of traffic safety Mike Hansen was telling us at a meeting the other day that the uh, half of the fatalities in Minnesota involve uh, drug or alcohol impairment and of those half of those cases involve more than one drug and then half again of those cases involve multiple uh, drugs or alcohol which is a concern now that you know marijuana has been legalized we're adding that into the mix um, also I mean not that people weren't doing it before but there's going to be an increase and I think people a lot of people don't really understand how marijuana can affect your uh, motor skills and your um, other functions like reaction time and, um, and cause you to be in an accident. So hopefully we get to a point where we can educate people and um, better prevent accidents and especially fatalities involving marijuana. And of 
course, the other big contributors to accidents are distracted driving, being on your phone or not paying attention and not wearing your seatbelt and yeah, speed. I think those were the factors that he mentioned. Obviously, uh, speed speeding doesn't give you the time to react that you need. So I'm just checking some uh, hot spots here. The Emerald Inn there is uh, a place where we often find Wait, stolen vehicles or people that are wanted. You can clear me report. Interestingly, you can do like what I did tonight after you've done it enough times and recognize the employees' cars and the people that live there long term. vehicles belong here and which ones don't. I'm gonna try to... This truck definitely does not have the turning radius that the Tahoe had, so... myself not to get in that tight a spot again. Tremendous job. 
hopefully at some point we can get uh, one of them to come right along. Looks like they're having some kind of circus up here in the parking lot of the mall. So. They have a big tent set up like a circus de Soleil tent. He is not aware that police are called an unknown fighter fighter a lot of very nice RVs, trailers, let's see, all new show under the big top, the, alright, I got get a better angle here, the Royal, Canadian Family Circus. Oh, shout out to our Canadian backseaters. Apparently you sent your Royal Canadian Circus down here um, to entertain us. I wonder if they have uh, like elephants and all that stuff, the fun stuff. So I'm gonna have to Google this and see what's up. Hopefully someone can uh, Google the Royal Canadian Circus at Maplewood Mall and post it in the thread for the other backseaters.
assistance from other agencies and uh, you know it, it's a big problem uh, the, the trains the livability uh, of the trains is has gone downhill but the reality is like Bob said you know they don't want us they don't want to just kick people off into the neighborhoods or on the corners um, or adjacent businesses um, which means in reality we have to enforce those livability issues the smoking the, the fare jumping on the trains the um, you know, the disorderly behavior urinating the, you know all that stuff um Sorry, what was the address? You know, yeah, you have to get back to enforcing those things and just saying, hey, look, we're not going to tolerate it. And the reality is, if you do that, um, they're not only not going to be on the trains, but they're not going to be around the trains, the platforms, and the bus stops. So, but it takes political will. It has, takes the willingness of the Met Council and the city councils um, to support uh, enforcement and holding people accountable for their behavior. It takes uh, city attorneys because it's mostly going to be misdemeanor crimes to be willing to, to prosecute those crimes and, and uh, obviously county attorneys for the uh, felony level stuff. But when you create an environment that basically sends the message that we don't care, do whatever you want, you're going to have crime and, and violence. The if you have drug users, you're going to have drug dealers. If you have uh, disorderly behavior, you're going to have gang members and um, disorderly groups of kids and young adults. So um, it can be done. It can definitely be done. And uh, but not without the support that the officers need.
radio's definitely quieted down. Cherry pit and the little oven here on Seventh and or Minnehaha and White Bear. Sounds like a, it's been a busy night in uh, New Brighton. One of our kind of northwest suburban agencies and uh, I know they were helping Columbia Heights hopefully they've successfully and safely resolved uh, that incident where they had a male that was armed and suicidal every time I'm driving along and I see the road blocked off like this I think of my think to myself what would the Dukes of Hazard do I need a ramp so I can jump over the barricades Happily ever after. Eighty-one ninety-seven. Not vehicle return to a Nina Kumar at 
sure if everything blocked off black over here. Over I may be stuck. I may have to everything. camp out on the east side of St. Paul. See, there's a Dollar General over here. I just heard that the dollar stores in California, some of them are having to close down because they just can't, with inflation, they can't do stuff for a dollar anymore. And the dollar fifty store doesn't quite ring the same. See if we can get up here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna work very well. Sounds like a uh, pursuit going on. Anyway, we're from the LEC. Yep. Okay. Better try to head up that way. Coming up to 61. It's going, uh, sounds like it's going north. 27, 51, 10, 1. Got one fleeing westbound. Beam, Ascanard, coming up to 61. It's going to be a black Ford Raptor. Um, all black. Speed's about 80. Coming up to 61 right now, let's know direction to travel. See if lights available, sticks, troopers. Copy, what's known as being past an hard black raptor, all black, clean. So we're gonna head that way. Um, 2363, I got it, southbound 61. Sounds like the car's now going southbound 61 from B. Southbound 61, looks like 63 is in front of me. Which means it's gonna end up at. Uh, in St. Paul. Speed 105, that's County C. So we are going to head over that way. Speed 112, coming up to 36. Still southbound.
southbound 61, speed uh, 2160. Careless driving and uh, then fleeing when it's time to stop. Here, no reason. Careless driving. 2360. He might have went uh, south Edgerton. Stand by here. So we're heading that way, um, and we'll see. Maybe west on Maryland, uh, 35, if you want to have state. Check that area on cameras. Okay. I've got the vehicle, but on Maryland, approaching Jackson. West on Maryland, approaching Jackson. He's now south on Jackson. South on Jackson. I want if we can check out flight. They've been notified. Twenty one six five. He's still blacked out. Up to Sam's. Okay, still blacked out. And just looks like he went eastbound. He's probably gonna try and double back. Cayuga. Copy, Cayuga. And six five, I shut it back down. Copy, shut it down. So the the speeds that the trucks drive. Yeah, I mean he's gonna get back on thirty five. Is uh, yeah, more than likely. Have led to the. I'm not seeing him on Agate. Twice. Probably went to 35E. Uh, discontinuing the chase because it's just the risk. All right, is I'll wait in Maryland. Too great for the. Um, All right, so I'm in Maryland, 35LE, looking northbound. Uh, to continue chasing it. Might come up our grade too. Getting back over the pond on Hey, I think he's eastbound York. Eastbound York. Northbound Greenbrier. Northbound New York.
White Bear and Sherwood, because this could very well be that truck you got the text about, Sheriff. Yeah, good call. Yeah, I'm sure he took Cayuga up to York there and then flew. He just, he just flew through Edgerton on York there. He's gone, and then I saw him, saw him go north on Greenbrier, but he did not come back to pay. It just adds up for everybody. This was in a line of cars of SRTs and everything. Came off the freeway, and they pulled into what was at the Bulldog right there in Maplewood. Um, as soon as I tried to light him up, he flew through the lot. And uh, so he was with a, a group of uh, SRTs. Yeah, where did you see it first, Joe? Exactly, the pipe bleachers? I came off the freeway from uh, Westbound 694 on the White Bray Avenue. They were all racing. Um, coming down White Bray Avenue, they all pulled into the Bulldog. I came in with them up and he took out. Bleachers, I think that's bleachers. Whatever bar that is right there. Copy the county vehicle that they were chasing. Oh no.
so you could see the car or the truck they were in uh, has smashed out bad and I'm gonna have to move here so I don't get stuck in but um, you can see the car And update uh, the person I talked to said they weren't sure if that person was running with the driver or not. So we're getting more information before we start with stuff. All right. Well, Copy. The witness wasn't sure if the person running was the driver or not. Well, where's the uh, Mallory? There's people on scene saying that the that person is the driver of that guy or that car. Copy. If we can confirm hey, we that we've got the medical you. needs of the patients in the car address, I'll take a track team. We can start looking for them. Yeah. There's nobody else right. on scene here that's uh, clicking right. entry. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, that's Mike right there. Yeah, Explain what we got going on. Hey, backseaters, we just uh, Tell them we, were, we saw a bottom them earlier. We were... Here it is. We're at the end of a scene. Uh, we were looking for this uh, vehicle that was picked uh, up on the highway this morning. Uh, me and Bob were looking for it, the and it went went into a right across the front of us. And unfortunately, it's as far as it made it. The uh, driver did get out and okay. run. I'm trying to have the mail shown in. Yeah. So here we are. Uh, I think this is Sims in St. Paul. I'm I'm not sure, but I think there was somebody else in the car. Honda, courtesy Honda. And should you just to clarify, Mallory, that the person that's driving the car is Quite the crowd has gathered. Yeah, so looks like the fire department and is trying to uh when we got it the vehicle was smoking looked like they were able to put that out immediately with extinguishers two seven three if any squads can talk to the male off of force and sims and get his id he said he saw the suspect flee to this house off of sims and york it's the white house east of the address i'm trying to get a number for you Three of two. Three of two. Wow. Three of two. We're gonna need some more squads. We got lots of people, and we need some assistance here. Copy. We we'll, can start some more squads. Two seven three. The house at the mail is supposed to flood in. There's nine zero two four. It's a little in the back. Definitely a crowd of people gathering, you know, at 12.30 at night, you can imagine, well, in the morning, I guess you call it, but you can imagine the loud bang that must have startled the neighbors. 23.63. People are looking out of their home windows right on in the back of it. Witness here says that it's a guy that ran into that house. Had a gray tracksuit. Not sure if it's going to be our guy or not. Copy, Mel. That fled into the house. It's supposed to have a gray tracksuit on. Unknown if it's the driver. 371. The plate of the vehicle that crashed on the truck is Minnesota 10 tag 008165 Alpha 98. Copy. I just got off work. Oh, wow. Instead of us Can you get a read back on that? Can you tell me where it registers to, please? Right out Savage Green and came across the bridge. Wow. We would have been in the mix of this. You're blessed. 371 008 
Alpha 98. Copy. Stand by. Ooh. 361. Yeah, so. 361. Several St. Paul squads are here. Right, more we have on that the way. Hold it. It's possible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Someone. Can you go again? How many people do we have in that house? That looks like might have gone in. Looks like. Seven three. I'm in the back with one other officer. Saw it, has, has noticed someone in the vehicle. Twenty one six five and twenty three six three are also on that house west side. Copy. Sounds like we have four squads. Anybody is not at that house. If you're on scene, we need to start getting tables. We have lots of people on scene getting way too close. There's Bob. Tommy, we need to start getting tape up. Too many people getting too close. Oh, I'm sorry. We're on tape. Okay. I got the tape setting it up now. Thank you. Trooper 5, uh, St. Paul are overhead. Okay, Trooper 5 is overhead. 273 for info. This might be a multi unit, so if anyone's out, what's the suspect? If they can't, or sorry, the witness, can they specify which portion of the house you ran into? 61, stand by. There's Darren. How you doing, Rev? Hey, did you see the young guy with the black right here, the shiny yeah. black? Yeah, what's his name? He's talking to him. Williams. Can you know, switch your uh, flashlight since you're in the door there? You want mine? What's the address of the house that these people went into? Oh, you want no, no, too Did you move mine? Uh, okay. Is that what you did? Yes, move sir. my flashlight. This is to keep track of yours. <laughs> That's a good flashlight. All right, here we go. Is that yours? Yeah. Where was mine? Isn't there a second one? Right okay. Okay. I've got, we got four flashlights now. <laughs> so that was quite yeah. the accident. So you explained to him that Joe Kills spotted it up in Maplewood? No, I didn't know that part. Yeah, he spotted this up on, in Maplewood off a of white bear and beam and chased it. And, and Trooper 5 just started crying for looking at the right house. This is uh, in between two apartment buildings. Or is it to the north Over of the, to 61. Uh, buildings. South on 61. Past Wheelock, then it went west on Maryland till another county squad saw it south on Jackson. Cooper 5, Roger, what? thank you. They cupped him. 371. Yeah. 371, were you calling? Confirm that temp tag returns to a Kenneth Coward 303 Manville in Boise, Idaho for a. Can you add it to the call, please? Performance on the call. It does show a Ram 1500 as the registered vehicle. Perfect. Thank you. Three seven. Two seven three can six two one take four. The young man that was jumping up and down, uh, I just saw one of the cat team put him in handcuffs, walk him away. Twenty one sixty. Put me down in St. Paul. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of hey, quiet. I'm just because I don't know how many people are, if anyone is in that vehicle. 
And they used more of the crafting. Definitely these people push back. Any more sense of crafting? That right now. Where are you at? The Sims and Russell. Okay. Cool, buddy. Three hundred squads just cleared from training and being robbed from crashing. Wow, a lot of a lot of St. Paul police on the scene. It had to be. I knew it was something with the police. I heard the police at first, and then I was I just in the car. I'm road. I knew it was a police officer. Caller saying mom just got into a vehicle and is now driving. Under sheriff. What's going on? <laughs> they just left you here stranded. Yeah, was, you can talk to your friends. Tell them what's going on. Um, uh, I haven't seen an accident scene like this in a long, long. I don't know if I ever have. <laughs> it's there's all the cars coming down the block here. You know that's where we saw them. Was when they were coming this way. No way he controlled it. One of those where you can keep terminating and they drive like crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know where the sheriff. He went. Uh, uh, they put somebody in cuffs right there, and he went. Uh, I saw that. Yeah. What do? Okay. Do you know where his charger is? Because this is. Dying bad. No idea. Um, right in that one. Oh, if I took this one out. Yeah. Two seven zero central. The light will come on if it's. The witness you saw the male flee into nine hundred two four city. Went into the a lower side. unit on the back end of the address. The well, there's two on. German shepherds yeah, in there that have seen him around before. But he did see him flee from that All vehicle. Right, well, I'm going to try to find him and figure out. Tell me a witness saw the mail. Figure out how we're so going to write this. So he went into a lower unit in the back of the address. Saw the mail flee from the vehicle. The address is known to have two German shepherds. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody's in there. No. Hey, you got they were getting in so they could disconnect the battery because oh, it was okay. on fire. So, but there's nobody else in there. Okay. I think the two suspects got out and the one's now in custody. Because the way he was looking back in there, it appeared that he was looking for somebody. Yeah, he's probably wondering where his buddy was. He's lucky they're not both dead. Yeah. And they say he ran into one of these houses. Three hundred. I'll be out at Simpson Russell. Yeah, Three six one. Three six one. Three six one. All right. All right. Yep. He went that way. Looks like there's some uh, rifle rounds in the car. Three rifle rounds in the car. Yeah, I was sitting here and I'm literally holding the uh, stop sticks. And we never got to use them. Another reason we need people to... Ooh, man, this is just terrible. Sounds like though we did... Apprehend one of the occupants. Six one. Six one. 
you know, a lot of stuff is tied up right now. As of right now, we're holding this house. If somebody becomes available, can we see if there are any witnesses that can confirm that the person who fled into this house is involved in this accident? Per 273, the witness saw the male flee from the vehicle as it went into the address. Three oh two, can you give me that address one more time? Nine oh two forest. Thank you. I'll be heading there shortly. Kathy, you're welcome, forty four minutes. As you can hear, there's a lot of radio traffic. They keep extending the tape so that people don't be getting too close. So the yellow tape has moved people probably back ah, 20, 30 feet from where they originally were standing. Because if you realize at the beginning, people were literally standing at the door talking to me. They've been moved back. Uh, yeah. Catch up and see what you. Let's see. See Bob now talking with the fire department. Hey, young lady. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I feel like I've seen you before. Yes, you have. Yes, yes. How you been? Good. Hope eat was well for you. It yes, yes. Yes. It was good. It was good. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Sad time to see, but I'm glad to see you still yes, smiling. I me mean, you yeah. like the job. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, you be safe, okay? Thank you, you too. Yep. One of the St. Paul officers who I met at one of the events, and she's a nice young lady. Those are the type of people, we need young people to carry this torch that's been lit by people like Bob and Six to one. Mike Martin. Six to one. Is there information about a black female wearing a green and yellow coat that might have been involved in this? Let me check the comments. Well, now they're looking for another female that might have been involved. Based on the comments, it looks like it was two males that fled the scene. It doesn't give anything about a female. <laughs> Alright, Ralph. Yeah. The flashlight went dead. Traffic, traffic. You killed my flashlight? Huh? It just died oh on me. my. It just died on me, buddy. John? How can you find my other one? John, he, he, my flashlight's dead. Well, how, hey, you, how you got two of mine? No, leave that here. We're going to need those. No. We're going to need those stop sticks. <laughs> That's right. Oh, okay. I, uh, 
I've switched your radio. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. This one. Yeah, you can do it. It's dying. Yeah. Okay. Is that that my first one? Okay, now I'm at where the other one I gave you earlier too. Right here. Okay, so that yours or mine? That's yours. Alright. So back seaters, what you didn't see is be, there's nobody in that car. Thank goodness. But Deputy Williams and Deputy Kill, Sergeant Williams and Kill, have found. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You see this trail here? This 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 car hit five different cars. Five different cars. See this tire here? Tire here. There's a tire there. I'm gonna show you. Wow. I'm gonna show you the. the you see all that stuff over here? I don't know, this is probably a mistake, but I'm showing her. You see that car right there? How, how, zoom in a little bit for him there, will you? There you go. There's three more cars down there that have been smashed in too. I'm not gonna drive down that road because it looks like a lot. Anyhow, you can see he started smashing into cars before he crashed into that house, flipped. Crashed. Flipped and crashed into that house. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So we're on Sims here, which is a block north of where we saw him on York. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Really? Yeah. So you can see, there you go. See the final result there? Some of my shoes. Hey, Mike. Hey, under sheriff. Can you find out? Who kills trying to get? I need to move that car so I can get around. Oh. Ask him if it's. Or, or, hey, or Mike. Fifty-one minute. Hey, or we can hold this tape up. Or we can hold that tape up. Either way. Three, two, five. Anyone got, got more tape? We'll take out the far west side of the scene here. You, Mike, you gonna stay or not? I'm next one, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Hey, will you ask, uh, I'm sure. Well, there's, there's a driver's, there's, there's ID in there that ties to him. No, I know, I know, but I'm just saying there is a connection. Yeah, they're connected now. Two seven three shrimp pole. The lower lights of the house were Thank on, you. and now they're off. Thank you. Happy lower lights of the house were on, and now they're off. Wow! Can you imagine your car parked at home? Kyle Williams. What happened? Calling Kyle said, Williams. Your car parked at home, and you come out to that. Yeah. Oof. Calling Joe Kill. Yes, sir. So, just generally speaking, what is his relationship to the credit cards that were found in the car? Uh, the guy that I have? Yeah, did you see the ones that Williams brought up for your spot there? No. Yeah, there was a wallet with a bunch of same last name credit cards. This is the guy that I have? Six yes. Three. But you should okay. check with, is Williams talk to you or not? No. Just for clarification, well, the witness Williams said 273 nine spoke to did not see right. the male who right. ran into the right. driver's exit of the vehicle. He just saw him running from the area that it crashed almost immediately after the vehicle crashed. So if anybody else has info about 
the person's description leaving and fleeing into this house, if they could just air it or let us know. Happy for clarification, the witness did not see the male who ran into the address exit the vehicle. The witness just saw him running almost immediately after the vehicle crashed. So there's ID in there with the same last name. I don't know if the first name. I really didn't get clear what how you spelled the guy's first name. Right. But somehow the, a guy shows up at the scene, folks, that with, admits to being with them when they fled. I mean, not, not in the car, but at the location. 302. Uh -huh. By the dog house. 302. So. Yeah, guys, right now, we don't have up. enough to hold this house any further unless anybody has any other witness information. So, if you can just anyhow, he shows the up there and Otherwise, we can't he parks in the middle of the street and goes down to look to see if people are dead or alive in the car. And the trooper pulls up and sees the car in the middle of the street and guess what? There's a gun on the front passenger seat. Okay? But, it turns out the gentleman has a permit to carry. But he does not want to cooperate with us to tell us who was driving. So, that's what we got. 61 with that info, I'm going to break from this house. Do they need a squad anywhere else? Is there a squad needed anywhere else? Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Did you connect with Kill? Three two for squad right. and pull. And I'm gonna wait for two. Is there a relationship between the to see if we're gonna people or, or not? So just a few more minutes. From what we gathered, he was at the bar with. Me. No, no, no. I, Kyle, all I want to know is if there's a relationship to the wallet. No, no. Okay. So the diff a different person. Yes. Same last name or not? No. Okay. Very good. Very good. What are we going to do with the with the guy with the gun? We're kicking him. We ID'd him. We verified that he had a job permit. We kicked him. Because he's not giving names of his numbers. Of his no, that's fine. I just checked him out what the, the result was. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. They had the stop sign there on York there normally. You know. I don't think he could see stop signs. Yeah, that was ugly. I can't did he like lose control. Do we still need all tech one and do we still need you for five? Yeah, we need you for five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well we were ready, didn't come back toward pain. Right. You know what I'm not gonna make it. Didn't make it back. No one yeah, was chasing him. Uh, you know? Yeah. When he cleared yeah. us. Do we still need the Altac or Trooper 5? I didn't uh, even clear. I just wasn't sure if we need you for anything. And uh, if I do, I'll get back later. Trooper 5 with Cap, will be clear. Right off the side for sure. 
laborers. Well, we'll show you where this whole thing started, folks. We're gonna head up the Maple to the doghouse. Rev's favorite bar. <laughs> what did it used to be called? Has it always been the doghouse or was it? I don't even know what a doghouse is. Is the T Birds up there now, too, or what? T Birds. T Birds. I got a wall with me right at Sims and Cypress. Black gold, black pants, white shoes. I mean, the odds of him crashing at a house that he could run into? Right. A little on the slim side, right? Maybe that's what he was shooting for. Let me get home. Yeah, I don't know. I think more likely that guy was trying to pick him up in the Chrysler 300. Because he admits to knowing them. He just won't tell us who they were. Yeah, we don't have a law in this country that says you have to tell us who the bad guys were. sure isn't very comforting to know that somebody that doesn't want to help us is carrying a gun around, right? There's a Unisom emptying out. Yeah, it's empty. Pretty much done. Wow. Is it that late? One o'clock? I don't know. What time is it? One o'clock exactly. That's not late anymore. No. think about that though had we just been because what, what I was going to do <laughs> I was going to go up Edgerton I was going to cut over on Whitehall all right yeah Whitehall goes down to Cayuga yeah figuring that would be the street that he would take but he yeah. cut up one two maybe one, to York. 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 but the other possibility was just go to go to Edgerton and Case and wait and watch yeah. both that would probably be the logical thing. Because I didn't think you could get from Cayuga and Jackson there that fast, did you? No. He was flying. So. Here's bleachers. Originally there was some confusion. It was not bleachers. Right. And originally, he saw him come off a 694 before they hit the dog pound. That's what he said. They were on 694 westbound. He thinks they were racing. Well, I gotta be admit, I'm I'm glad we caught we got the car, right? Yeah. That's punishment. I think it, it was punishment enough. Oh, it had to be painful. Flip it like that. Bam! 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 Hitting all those cars. Nobody, nobody innocent got hurt. Right? Right. That's the key. Nobody innocent got hurt. He came down, what, 61, right? Yeah. He covered a lot of turf fast, didn't he? Yeah. You know, originally I was debating whether we need to go over and get on the freeway, but he kept coming south, south, south. And, of course, you heard me ask the dispatcher to alert the St. Paul guys because you can get from County Road B to Larpenter in 30 seconds at 120 miles an hour. Yeah, he proved it. <laughs>
So six nine, we're on White Bear Avenue coming up to 694. And originally, uh, Joel Kill saw the car. Coming off of 694, I thought they were racing. I'm not sure if he was on 694, I just saw him come off. And then they uh, came down to, I don't know if it's Conroe D or Woodland. I think it might be Woodland. Yeah, Woodland. What this used to be called, I remember the old days. It's a nice bar. I don't know if they were actually in there or just racing around this area. But right across the street from the Golden Corral Golden and Corral. Hobby Lobby is the, the doghouse appears to have a few customers here still. Back in the doghouse. How's it going? What's up? Not much. How about you? <laughs> Did you guys see any cars taking off earlier? Little police chase? It's hard to see when you're in a bathroom. Hard to see when you're in a restroom. How's it going? Did you let that little blonde get away? She's too, she's too, well that's smart. I gotta give you, I gotta give you that. I gotta give you that one. Good for you. Too drunk. That's a common thing if you ask people if they saw anything, it's, like, oh, I, I don't have my glasses on, or right. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> Doghouse bar. Seems to be a popular place now, Rev. I didn't even know you heard I of it. what it used to be called. I used to, yeah, Ogres, the Ogres family owned it. What the hell was it called? You can look it up. You can look up the previous name of the Doghouse bar. Who's yelling at who? Well, now you lost a car. You gave up the blonde and you lost the car too. What the hell? Now what? Uber? No, we can't do that. We don't have any room in the back seat. We got too much equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Not this one, no. This one's he heavy. You ain't got a car to drive. Well, clearly the doghouse has turned into a place of interest. Right? Must stay open until two or two thirty, huh? Yeah, it's got a... Uh, what do you think, Ralph? A lot of people. It's got a full bar here. This is where they were headed. This is what... Kill thought they were headed here when they took off. It's two cars, I think, originally. It's a nice patio. I've been here before during, during the day for lunch. Sports bar atmosphere. During the day, girl's got a cowboy hat on. <laughs> Beyonce made them all cowboys. Yeah. It's got a diverse clientele here. We got, we got, we got every diversity here. I've seen white, black, Asian, Hispanic. Now, how's it going? How are you? Good. Going in, have fun? Let's go, man. Thank Come you. Come enjoy that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Y'all look good. I just, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I always want to be undercover cops. Snap right. away. Snap away. <laughs> well, can I be in the car? Lock me up. And make me look good. All right, come on, come on. All right. I'll go, fuck, fuck. Yeah, turn your. Yeah. What do you guys do tonight? The camera. You guys Yo, y'all want to put me in a cuff and everything? Yeah. <laughs> Tase me and everything? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, so what do you guys want to tonight? Well, we had a car that ran from us earlier here. Big chase. Fuck, dude, that wasn't me. I swear to God, it was uh, not me. Uh, cra it crashed and rolled over. Oh, yeah, that's, that was not me. Big time crash. Yeah, so. Good guys, yeah. Yeah. Do you live right now? <laughs> no, no, hell no. I don't do live. Right, yeah, this, this is for my, my guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm here hanging on my guys right here. Um, Y'all are different. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I love, I love Minnesota love. <laughs> Yeah. Have a good night. Right, Thanks, man. buddy. Yeah, but real talk, though, you guys are the best, man. You guys are the real bosses out here. <laughs> well, we try we to keep you safe. Peace. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Go find a girl. I can't. I got three girls that are fucking beating me up. <laughs> good night, guys. Good, good night. night. Yeah, it's very, uh, what do they call that eclectic, or what's the term for you got a broad, diverse group? Hey, how are you? What's up? Hey, I like Helen ain't old enough to be here. No. You know, you know what this occasion calls for, Rev? What, a Mountain Dew? No, a box of Raisinets. Where'd they go? I don't know, you got them. Yes, sir. Call. Wait, it is. I mean, how did you come to that conclusion? But, oh, it, it is. I wonder what they were doing over there in Sherwood. Interesting. I mean, if they're hanging at the Sherwood bar, uh, just they got know somebody in the neighborhood. That was a good spot. Where did you see him first? Were you were you on White Bear or were you on 694? Yeah, she was a warranted of permanent corrections for a release by a later body only. There is a three-hour time delay, which I can recommend. I'll apply to that one. So, 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 what was there besides that one and the white one? What else was it? Just And then that Chrysler 300 was at the scene. That one must have been up there too, huh? Yeah. All right, good. Well, it's, it's a good spot. This is a lot of different stuff going on here. Yeah. I mean, at this location, this is gonna be, if they're if these guys are hanging out here racing and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. All right, good work. Good work. Thanks, buddy. Oh, we're looking for a white Durango here, Rev. White Durango. Can you help me find one? Yeah, right there. Not in a Durango, though. That might be a... No. That's a Chevy. Not that. Down there? Yeah. I better run that white Durango. Oh, it's got a little dent in it, too. A little racing dent. All right, we'll get the plate on that one. Tire low. What'd you say? I look, my tire's low? No, it ain't. I got 38 pounds in that one. 38 pounds. All right, that's a hemi. Kilo uniform Frank 390. Is there 
question and not understand. I wonder if he's still a big role on either male or if you're just wanting to pre fuck the accident. What's the what's right. the numbers? Three nine zero. Radio. Right there. Yeah, I got another one here. Hey, can someone run this plate on this white Durango for me? I got because 13 hits Bad Durango Street. Unit 305 for welfare checks. Kilo Uniform Foxtrot 390. Kilo Uniform Foxtrot 390. Subject is named Latar, black female, 23 years old. Need that for one minute, please. Closing. They said they're not letting anybody else in. Right, I heard her say that. Probably, probably are closing at one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Close at one. Kick everybody out by one thirty. I don't think these raisinets are that fresh, Rob. Do you have any? No, I don't need those. Well, you bought some for Beverly. Yeah, she eats those. I bought a bag of them. A bag of raisinets. Where did I get them? They were so fresh. Remember when you had ra raisinets? Sun sunrise the little yeah. cans of raisins? Yeah. I that was healthy for you. Was it raisinets? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Come on, no, they still make them. Who, what's the name of the manufacturer? The uh, Sun Sun Dried Sun. What's the name? Well, get on, open that on. We gotta. Uh, Somebody knows. Watch. Huh? Sun Crest. Sun Sun Sun. Thing is, folks, we don't stop to eat a regular meal like cops do. We're out here trying to. <laughs> Make sure you get a full experience. Wow. Sun. Sun. Come on, raisins. I want raisinets. No, they're uh, they're just raisins. A little red and blue blue package. Small little package you uh, your, mom, your mom would send it to you for lunch. Make sure you got some fruit. Keep you regular, right? 
<laughs> we should probably stay at the Sun Made. Sun Made. Scott Hiller hit me in the inbox. Sun Made Raisins, right? Sun Good job, Scott. Sun Made Raisins. Well, here's my point. Thanks, Scott. So, by the way, regarding that truck, we got a complaint regarding that truck driving like it was a maniac earlier today. Right. Just telling the back seizures. So, ironically, we're on the look for that exact make. It's called, what's it called? TRX or something? Kill didn't even know it was a TRX until it's rolled over, but likely the same car. That was an ugly accident. It's lucky they're not. Oh man! Everybody's not dead in there. You said, "Look for the car," and I turned my head. I'm like, "Whoa!" Are you wonder where that man is walking to? He went down to Hy-Vee to get some. It's the Hy-Vee Express. Here you go. Here you go. You ready to take off? Hang on. I got a box of. I got a bag of resonance. It was just amazingly fresh. 300, got a tow truck coming in from the west. 2000. So they're going to turn that truck over and tow it? We'll take care of this one. 2096. That guy's probably doing 100 by now. Yeah. yeah. He was ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. 219. Male party's name is Curtis Holly. So in case you're wondering, it's at least three miles since anybody was chasing that car. Right? Yeah. Jackson Sims. Way over there on the other side of 35. Before he ducked down on Cayuga. To be an unknown race male wearing a dark sweatshirt, blue jeans. I mean, it is a lesson as to how fast you can cover that space, right? I mean, you got to admit you're shocked, aren't you? Yeah. I was, shoosh. Like, how? he made it over that fast. Because <laughs> we saw him, he said, whoop. I mean, like, nah, how the heck did he do that? Whoa. you know? John O'Brien died that way, getting smashed by a car when it wasn't being chased. Right. What was that one? You doing okay, assistant? Yes, sir. Partner? Either that or I have to really raise the price. Highway Avenue on a 911. 
the transfer from state nose down to 19 meters. <coughs> what is this? Copy one. What's the name of the person we're doing a welfare check on? Female party's name is Latara Miller, She's 23 years old. Oh, <coughs> what do I got to drink here? There is one. I can start treating my second at 1048 Minneapolis Avenue on the second floor. Caller's boyfriend is breaking things in the apartment. Possibly has a piece of glass in his hand. Currently in the living room. His name is Marcelino Cruz, 24 year old Hispanic male wearing a black shirt. Well, we can certainly head that way. I'm assuming it's east. Seven, you can bring us. Minnehaha, as opposed to west. So, 1048 Minnehaha, right between uh, Earl and Cyprus. We will head down there, thinking that he might leave by the time we get there, but. Bottom in the neighborhood, Rev. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> oh, <coughs> was when one of those raisinets was a was a raisin something. <laughs> oh. <coughs> it's stuck in my tonsils. Still got your tonsils? Nope. They've been out a long time. They they were taking out in the popsicle era. <laughs> yeah, for a while they were taking everybody's tonsils out. Then suddenly they said, "No, we don't need to take everybody's out." Well, mine were bad. That was the nosebleed kid. What do you mean the nosebleed? My tonsils and agnos. I, I, I did have my adenoids taken out. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't take my tonsils out at the same time. They did mine at the same time. Back to then, you, you just did whatever your parents told you. Right. And the parents just did whatever the doctors told them. There was no second guessing, oh, is that good for a child, is that not, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the doctor said. Yeah. But back then you had like a family doctor. Or yeah. You know, Alio, I remember his name. You trusted the doctor. Because you always use your family doctor. So remember, we're at White Bear Avenue is 1780 East. We are working our way west at what, 1048? 1048. So when we get to when we get to Earl, we will we got a ways to go. <coughs> Not that we don't cover a lot of territory. I need some dill pickle chips to scratch my throat. I get rid of those raisins. Pepsi Zero yeah. with him, so <laughs> no sugar in the pot, but a handful of sugar wrapped in raisins wrapped in sugar. You're gonna hold these two or two cars until uh, until further notice here. Valen Boulevard, Need Lane on a suspicious vehicle, color came upon a white vehicle, the lights are still on the radio.
Description of the guy. Ten forty-eight. Let's see. Twenty-four-year-old wearing a black shirt. A little louder, Rev. Twenty-four-year-old Hispanic male, right? HM. Yep. Uh, yep. He's in the bedroom. Squad here. Clearly, we're not going to be able to. It's the second house over. Probably we should cover the alley. In the theory that. Driveway, so let's just see what we can do here. Wearing a black shirt. Put your flashlight out. You got one or isn't working? No. Here, you can use mine. Flashlight number three. I don't light up the cops, but if you can light up the back door of the house. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. I'm going to pull a little over here so I can see the other side of the house too, Rev. And keep it right up on that second door. So that is 1048. I don't know. <laughs> Could be the next one. I want to check Google. Second one. We're good. One thirty. That is it. Happy fourteen twenty eight seven three D east for unit two zero one for DOC. Mills X wife's ex boyfriend kicked the call restore, white male thirty five six average build wearing all black, possibly on the second floor of the building. Oh, okay. I was on time, go ahead. Trying to get another squad. South on Westminster, at Cook. Vehicle's still not stopping. Just going twenty. Copy, can you just go out to Westminster and cook for the vehicle and not stopping? For about something. We'll be east on our alley, just north of Lawson. 273, you can break me from. 210. 210 on 3. We're just clearing up our goal here. We'll head to your trap for Alice Glenn. Can show me 10 and I'll be back on my one with 125. Oh, sorry, Dad. I think he's gonna run here. Oh, let's go. Copy, calling out 10 1 for Bravo 710. What's the gen code from the north of Lawson? 10. Copy, 929. What do you say? I don't know if he's, run if he's running on foot or running. Not stopping. Originally. Oh, so he has his hands up now. Oh. He's not really following orders. Okay, he's out. Copy, he has hands up, not following orders. 
will. Hands up, not following orders. So, first, you told him to put his hands up, so he must be following some order. <laughs> well, there you go. 300 to squats on scene at the crash. They need uh, two cars on either end of the tow trucks pulling these guys out. Everybody else can clear. Just two squats, please. Everybody else can clear and start with the pendings. Thank you. I was going to send in a host for you with one. Copy, fighting with one. Still holding air. Well. Hmm. The air weighs away. <coughs> to be of any value for a fight, but... These cars are leaving the accident right here and headed up down Case to help them out. It's about a mile away. Maybe a mile and a half. Look to your right, Rev, and see how the car's doing. Nice. Well, there's the tow truck. I'm in custody. <laughs> one in custody. Have everyone in custody, still holding air. Maybe he didn't hear one in custody. You can go take a bus for RA. 300, I'll be in route. 302, we'll still be on scene here. Happy on 136. Rebel 10, do you still need the air? Nope, you can't clear. Happy, cast me 10-3 at 137. So 10-3 mean that you need the air? Mm-hmm. If, if you're on channel 3, it's 10-3. Channel 2, it's 10-2. Channel oh, 1, it's 10-1. Okay. But even if you use the wrong number... 3 seven. They know what it is. 3 huh? 7. They know what you mean. I know we're stretched pretty thin, but if we can get... One more to our call, please have help. Oh. Go back to that call. Copy, is there a spot that can start to domestic at 1048 Manila Avenue on that's, the second floor? That's where we were. 325 will be in route. Sounds Copy. like it ain't going that well. 273, it's Bravo 710. Hold for a long time. Maybe you didn't hear. Have we quit for one in custody? Once again. Back to the alley, Rev. Back to the alley. Oh, back to the alley. Sounds like they've determined some police action might be necessary. Bon Jovi. I don't know. He really, I honestly, I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what he says. Captain, what's 
Do it first. Do it first. Disregarding. Supporting. All right, here we go. Have you got your flashlight? Yeah. So, squad's here on a domestic. Boyfriend broke some stuff. You ready? Keep that. We're putting leg restraints on. Happy putting leg restraints on at 140. Actually, turn that off one second. Let me just see how this does. Close enough for right for yeah. government, right? Here, nine twenty-one. Thirty-nine twenty-one. Nick Ripley Avenue, Minnesota nine. Did you um, see that person? The squad walked back and took a look at us to make sure we were the good guys. Have you taken your free Spanish speaking squad that can assist you to seven on a domestic? I wish I had taken Spanish when I was in high school and college. Your free Spanish speaking officer. Don't you? I mean, I took German in high school. Yeah, and college. Two, two, seven, I, I can took check French. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, please. I definitely took Spanish speaking officers that came with the field. Yeah, I took French. Don't ask why. I have no clue. 300, I'm 23. Well, I got news for you. We, don't, we don't have a border with Germany. Okay? Right. But we got a lot of French Canadians. At least they yeah. speak French and they speak French in that Northeast Quadrant. That's, That's right. the official That's language right. in Quebec. So at least you, at least you, got to, you can talk to the Canadians. And there's a lot of Canadians that watch us. In fact, right now they're going, Riv, you speak Canadian, eh? Eh? And I'd be, eh, no. Eh? <laughs> Squad's here at Minnehaha waiting to get an interpreter so they can handle this domestic with some language skills. We're going to sit in the alley for a little bit here, make sure the suspect doesn't come out with a piece of glass in his hand, huh? Was there four Squad, cars here five. before? Four cars? Huh? Four cars. What about them? Now he's on the There's three. one or two more available squads. If they can come here, we're going to be attempting to apprehend a domestic suspect in the upper unit. And he's likely going to be combative with us. We want him. I'm on I don't think they're going to get him. Out. What's your squad number? They're going to what? They're going to get him now. Yeah, well, that's okay. He committed a domestic assault. Yeah, so. Class, class, can you repeat your squad number? Well, one, three, eight, one. Oh, he's going to get help. They don't, they rather have to go. Coppers home. He runs out the back. He runs out the back. He's going to run into the curb. I can stay a few miles on my radio roll. Hey, just hand me that flashlight. Open the back door. There's a fourth flashlight in the back door. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. And you can never go any. Flashlight's the most important tool you got. So Two and seven. You Two grab the other one. I'm serious. I'm not saying it's as good as these lights. Two, two, four. What? Yeah, East Seventh Street, East Payne Avenue on a nine one one hang up. Probably saying there's someone yelling in the woods for help. 
Probably with an uncooperative. You do for copy on block out. See that, Rev? She's just three. You always gotta have extra flashlights, buddy. That one's dead. Midwest 125, Deacon says rel to that. 325 school. Is this one's patch? No, that's a battery operated one. He jumps out the window, we got him. Yeah. <laughs> well, there goes Bob. Don't worry, people. Somebody comes on them steps. I think I'm fast enough to get there. Adrenaline to get me there. What you need? This one? The one up there? Doesn't matter. Any of them. Just any of them. That's fine. That's good. <laughs> You're on, you got one, you just put, set yours to three, the main one. Three nine five one. I can take the uh, nearby. You got a squad coming. Squad coming. Yep. Any other squad zero two hundred DOT. Two seven. Have a connector, one forty seven. Got 300. We're watching that. Uh, they're going to, the St. Paul police are going to go into the front door. And me and Bob are watching to make sure he doesn't run out the back or the side. Bob. Squad 300. Bob, somebody on this side. 
Officer, officer on this side. I said officer coming on this side. Yeah, I'll be standing by for a second. Can I get a case number? 365. Case number 064 633 We've been joined by a St. Paul officer, and then, oh, here comes Darren. 325, man. Okay, okay. So. 325, go again. You alright? Give us the air, please. Copy, calling on Like I can see lights moving on the interior, probably flashlights. Copy, taking him into custody, still holding here. In custody. Yeah, it's good. Weather was great. I saw you on the beach or wherever you was at. Oh, it was nice. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Daniel. Hey, everyone. Backseaters. That's been hopping. Yeah. It's good. Signs of the summer should be really hopping. 
That was quite the crash, though. I still I gotta be, I gotta admit. <clears throat> Two seven three, clear the air. I haven't seen that much damage. Copy, copy the 10, 3, 1, 50, a series of cars for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> and for an entire city block. It took a half city. of the, half of those city half yeah. of those cars were just demolished. Yeah, that yeah. was. This, but what you don't know is, what if they had hit us? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Oh, we were there. We yeah. were we were going up Edgerton when he blew York. It was like, yeah, he had been oh, easily yeah. over hundred. Yeah, it yeah. was crazy. Well, what else you got to say to the back seaters? You just can't walk away, otherwise, Sorry, can, not much. I got to throw the camera to you, <clears throat> and then you'll be, you know, then you'll really have to. Actually, my camera died. Mm. I didn't bring in charging cord tonight. You guys, you young guys, you're always doing that. Smart guys. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. No, my camera died like at 12.45. Oh. I'll remember. I'll remember So, that. my Durango's done. Yeah. I just kind of noticed it's done today. That's so good. I'll my regular squad back. That's good. Yeah. Well, let's go find something else. I think, whoa, it's only got, it's five to two. Yep. Just hang on another 20 minutes, see what happens. Yeah, totally. All right, thanks. All right, Good thanks. See ya. Thanks. Bye. PD. Bye. You guys good hanging out another 20 minutes or so, see what happens? I know Kill had okay, to leave, okay. the rest of you. We have medics respond. Code four for medics. Seventeen year old male, complaining of warming. Yeah, I'm yeah. Copy, study medics. Yeah, I got family fix. I gotta get to in the morning, but I'm in the alley. Just for my No, you go ahead and go. Copy in the alley. I got it covered. Odie and Darren, I'll hang out. Can we get medics for an adult male, conscious breathing, 30 years old, possibly a broken leg? Huh? How about dead. that? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Two point turn in an alley instead of 23 <laughs> points. <laughs> there was a garbage behind me, too. Did you see that? Yeah. That guy's got something hanging under his truck. What do you think that is? 44, 46. Check that out. What is it? Can you see it? Can't see it from this angle. It's, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. this is... And it looks like it's dragging, so he should be able to hear that. Well, it could just be something from his garage that hung out there. I don't know. It doesn't it's not the catalytic converter? Because then we would have heard some noise, right? Right. Person with a cart. Did you see the cart? Or not? Yeah. What do we got? Oh, well, I won't worry about this guy dragging anything. Jeez, that car was crushed. Yeah, I would like to see how they got it up on the tow truck. I'd like to know how fast it was going when it first made impact at the first tree. That's what I want to know. go down here. We'll hopefully they swept the street. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, you never answer my calls. Jesus Christ, huh? Yeah. No, I was just no, I was just calling you to check on how they were working, but go ahead and go on home. I got it. Go get some, get Hey, hey, it's okay. I got, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's good. All right, thanks, thanks, bye. bye.
Family comes first, you know. Right. If your wife scheduled something, you gotta go to it, right? <laughs> I mean, it is a truism. Happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, that's right. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. My wife might be up. Well, I, felt, for those, I felt my phone. She's waiting for those damn raisinets. <laughs> Beverly, those raisinets are a little bit dry and crunchy. In fact, I'm not even sure there's raisins in there. Have a good Bev. weekend, Kyle. There might be something else in there, Bev. <laughs> you too, guys. I, I, had a, I had all those raisinets, but... It's hard to believe. Well, they're still pulling that thing out of here. What the hell is going on? Well, it looks like they're towing a lot of cars out there. Yep, there's a lot of them being towed. Oh, a couple of them being towed out of there. That's what you call an accident. Bad accident. Bad accident. Thank God nobody was killed. I mean, not so much the bad guys, but nobody on the street, none of the innocent people. Anybody in those cars would have been seriously injured. Sometimes you worry about those scenes. If someone would have got hit by that car, it might have, he might have got thrown so far you wouldn't even find him. Right. Hey, partner. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good, how, how are you? How you doing? Did you walk down there at all or not? Yeah, that was a mess. I heard it. Yeah. That was something. We're lucky nobody got hurt. No innocent people, you know. I mean, lucky that didn't happen. All right, have a good night. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Is that store still open? I don't think so. Oh. He lives up there. You know, you can, um, where do you get this type of quality educational programming, huh? Right. Right? <laughs> With no commercials. No commercials. No commercials. Man, we didn't even get to... Thank you. Uh, Billy's tonight. Well, we got to the doghouse. That was more interesting. 871 yeah. Albemarle Street on the 901 hang up. Right? People arguing and then the line disconnected. Did you see that little red light up in the sky there? It looked like it was you know, those trees, but it's a plane Joker. landing. Joker. You know, you got people from all over the world living here. Living right here in Minnesota. Right here in St. Paul. Paul. All over the world. Every continent. I think there's most every country. Yeah. You know, when I was young, if you were studying the Far East, it was in a book, right? Right. I think I'd maybe probably did reports on Japan when I was little. When I was in college on China, Chiang Kai-shek. But now, you just drive down the street. And it's the Far East restaurants right there. On right there. Right there, right? You know? Smaller restaurants. And it's amazing. Korean barbecue. I mean, it's pretty much, we got everything here. Stuff we eat, other people eat. I was in, uh, you know, we eat chitterlings, and people laugh because you know it's a southern thing. Yeah. Well, you go into a Chinese restaurant, they got fried chitterlings, the same thing. Yeah. Like, wow, that's interesting. 
stuff you think that other folks don't eat. Yeah. Well, you probably heard that the bird flu now has been passed on to cows. Have you heard that today? No, I didn't. South Dakota has discovered the bird flu in, in cows. In cows. They claim that the cows recover in a week and there's no impact on the food or milk, meat or milk. So I don't know what that means. We need to do some more research on that. But new news, bird flu spreads to cows in South Dakota. And there's one human that caught bird flu too, but it isn't clear how he caught it yet. Not, I don't believe it's aerial born here. But we gotta stay on top of the next potential pandemic. We, we don't need no more of those. <laughs> They call it if it spreads. <laughs> the birds won't get credit. They probably should get a little credit. I mean, let's think of a name for the bird flu. To make it kid friendly. For the Zero six four six two nine. Happy, thank you. You're welcome. Two zero six. After that, maybe I'll swing up there as well. Two seven three. Two seven three. Seven eight. You can take it from there. Zero six four. Where did you go? Two one Rice Creek Parkway, apartment one twenty. Happy. Part two says Terrell Welfare Check fifteen seventeen Magnolia Avenue East Unit two. Caller would like a welfare check on their father who has not been answering his phone since 12 p.m. today. Father is Emmanuel Rosario Perez. 329. Yeah. You know, truthfully, thinking about cows, I think I'm going to start having, I'm going to have a steak tomorrow before the bird flu gets to here to Minnesota. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna fire the grill up. Fire, fire the grill up. Let's have a couple steaks. Yeah. Right? Sounds like a good idea. Well, welcome YouTubers around the world. Thanks for joining us. This is like uh, episode number four hundred and something. I'm live on patrol for the past uh, three and a half years. Oh, three one eight. My name is Bob Fletcher. I have the pleasure of serving as the sheriff here in Ramsey County, Minnesota. With me is our community service officer, Rev Spence, who's also a reverend. And uh, we are live on patrol here in Ramsey County. The primary city here in Ramsey County is St. Paul, which is our capital city. It's two o'clock here in the morning. We appreciate everybody around the world joining in. I don't know how many are watching, but probably at least 6,000 on YouTube. We are, at, in our time slot, we are the most watched live production. Right. In the world. Did you know that? Yeah. I mean, on YouTube. If you query live streams on YouTube, well, there are some people that just have live streams of soft music and kids games, but those don't really count for an actual Go ahead and cancel 273. I'll back 329 on that uh, welfare check. You ever wonder why I'm turning slow like that? It's I'm trying to read the plate before it flies by, so if it rings a bell with any of our stolen like that's so uh, 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 GDC. Somebody's en route to JDC. Yep. So, in either case, if you're just joining us every Friday, 
We are live from 8.11 till about 2. What we got here? And then during the week, during the daytime, some of our deputies and Under Sheriff Martin are live for an hour and a half to two hours. Historically, we've been in dozens, if not hundreds, of car pursuits. They return into 1711 from Street East with one adult male and female. Fortunate or unfortunate, Captain. depending on your view, we've arrested so many auto thieves in the last three and a half years that we have far less pursuits than we used to on our side of the river. And many of the other ones have gone, looks like Borns is just getting out, bro. Many of the other ones have gone over to Minneapolis. So. Think about doing. Coming into Western Avenue North, Thomas Avenue on an assault. <clears throat> Caller saying there's a black male in his twenties in the street assaulting a female who is on the ground on uh, Western just south of Thomas. Well, we can certainly get to that. Yeah. So we are one mile from that yeah. call. Here. We're going to turn our lights off as we get over this. You got a radio in your hand there? Yep. Put it on channel 2, two. for me. Yep. And then to me. I was looking right. Clear right. No. no. Whoa. I don't know about now. Clear now. Now you go. Okay. So Thomas is a quarter mile south of uh, Minnehaha here. We don't want them to know we're coming necessarily. Hold on. So hold on. Clear for a Keys K9 and County. And we'll take a pending. Is this on two? Yep. Alright. Western and Thomas. One more block. We're lighting them up, Rev. You see anything? There we go. Just have a copy. Just the APD at Viper Avenue and Cottage Avenue for a very high on the launch versus the black. Was some, who was, where's the victim? Somebody called and said there was a guy beating a girl up. Nobody's beating up? Did you see something, man? No. I see nothing, sir. Just an argument? Pardon me? Okay. Car took off when we well, I'm sure there was some conflict, but right. nobody wants the police. Nobody looked too injured. There's clearly some glass in the street here. As, as he said, it's a black family party. He just said, I love you. But to me, yeah. Yeah, Juliet, uniform, Delta, zero, two, one, two, car. Sir, are you leaving soon? I'll get the fuck out of here. I think it's a good idea. I got you, big dog. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Lima uniform, Lima, 332.
Yeah, I'm sorry. Just confirming that plate was Uniform Delta 021. Juliet, Uniform Delta 021. Yeah. There's one, I think, 233. Yeah, I'm clear. Well, is, is there any other possibility if it wasn't that corner? Mm. Either it's going to start searching to copy 2150 Wilson out of the unit 158 for a PAC caller. Caller's son, Trayvon Mellon, has to turn his hands for to kill the caller and himself. His mental health if we knew issues. for sure that was what caller inspired the call, the way we would uh, cancel the St. Paul car, but we don't know 100% that that was what inspired the call caller so we're gonna let St. Paul show up and a lot of people outside here make sure they can make their own decision if there's any potential victims anywhere last thing we want to do is cancel them and then have somebody call and say why did you never come to the call right right but here they come. Two two five is for you can stay clear. Two one four, you can stay clear. So there's two squads here, obviously now they're gonna clean up and determine that there's no fight, but, I mean, I, in all likelihood, it wasn't people out there in the street, but without having anyone 44, interested in making a report or noting anything. Right. Still there, park with an adult male, be running into the woods. Sorry, which park are you at? Probably Hit Park, just off of Birmingham. Right. Is there another maple weather concern? Let's figure out the radios again. You don't have a radio, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's channel three. We're gonna put this on channel one. Or maybe we're not. I gotta find, see, usually all my radios have this Velcro on there. And I love that Velcro. I can stick it anywhere. That's channel one, channel two, channel three. I'm gonna call you on that here. Good night, everyone. Good job, everyone. Raising it, raising it. Have a good weekend. Hey, Odie, if you're up there in Maplewood, go ahead and just head home, buddy. Thanks for staying. I'm uh, on the east side again. Well, in that case, just work your ass off for the next 40 minutes. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, Darren, you, you good with work until 10 to 3? Let's do it. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Do you want me to pull out your domestic car? Getting clear, buddy. See the car with the flashes on? Yeah. Tango, 66 Tango, I copied the animal complaint. 
seven Roby Street East for a dog that's barking on the deck for the last few hours. You know, we haven't really had any quality food. No, we haven't. All you bought was yeah, raisinets, which is not junk, okay? It's quality, but it isn't food. And I, the thing is, those raisins, they must have dried those up before they put the chocolate on them. Is there something hanging under that vehicle? No. It looks like a shadow on another tire. Yeah. You know, the problem for us is, we, you know what determines when we go home? Three when, when all four flashlights are not working. <laughs> right? See if she's calling for help. I'm assuming she's calling a f family member. I'm I'm good, officer. I just ran out of gas. My uh, friend is coming right now to give me some gas. I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm waiting for my friend. Now I just ran out of gas. All, All right. right. You're, you're, you're welcome. welcome. That's not the friend. Okay, we ain't got nothing. We ain't got no can. Yeah. You know, the funny, one of the funniest things. One of the funniest things that ever happened was when those kids on the east side stole the car and they ran out of gas and they went they, they went to the store and they got gas cans, but they didn't know how to they didn't know how to open the, the valves. You know what I mean? You gotta push it in and push it down. In the front seat, there, while refusing to leave, a Hispanic male is wearing a tan front, hurt blue jeans. Come on, that was funny, right? Very. Back your back, funny, funny, funny. I mean, the, the, the cans, when we got there, the cans were literally right by the car and they ran. Cause, and then we caught them and they said, yeah, we didn't know how to put the gas in. Because they got these new safety valves. Right. Which I, I hate them too, those new safety valves, by the way. That was pretty funny. This will be assisted. Where are you getting gas from? Well, I don't either, but. We didn't have any legitimate reason to dig in deeper. No. Part of you wants to, but you try to make sure you have. Traffic, like, okay. Traffic, Bryce Street, Conner Road, C. Zebra, Elfo, Victor, Adam, Victor, Nine, Adam. Ten. Copy, right. Nine, ten. Could you have a couple of West squads go over and assist East? They have uh, people held over and it looks like they're pretty much in the clear and West. Twelve, I'm in Elfo. Twelve, I'm in Elfo. And what was that request? Sending some of the West cards over to East. 112 with a squad of from the DOC. 304 Wheelock Parkway at Marathon. Staff going in on a customer. Was going into the garbage and throwing trash all over. DC Miller, 40s average build. 5'6 gray hoodie and long skirt. Well, that makes no sense. There's no marathon at 304 Wheelock. See if that pops up there and get the address. But the we lock one? Yeah, it's right there for, there's no there's no marathon there. Unless it's east. It is east. So east. It ain't popped up yet. But. No, but they gave it to a west call, that's why I was confused. They gave the Yelling at each other. Two people swearing. 
LAPD just left the address. Where's that one? You do work on me. Was it uh, 911? Let's wait till they have a pop up. What address? 113. 871 Albemarle. Could be, but that's a. 268 Dayton Avenue, Unit 302, on a suspicious complaint. Caller's buzzer's been going off for the last 20 minutes. Doesn't know who it is. Anything? What's the last one that popped up there? That one. Suspicious activity at yeah, Dayton. Where's that? 268 Dayton. Yeah. Yeah. So read the marathon it's, call again. It still didn't come up. It's got to be there somewhere. It's probably down the list. Here it is. It's probably been so long since they did it. Customer going in garbage. Um, customer going in garbage and throwing it all over. He has a lawn sleeve. White. Lawn sleeve sweater. Received information that she's at her mother's house. Long sleeve. Oh, it's a female. So it's not. Get the track back. It's so this one. Call me to add. Right, it's outside. So, Payne in Maryland. Silver Hunter. Can I get a second? The calls are starting to pop out. Copy, it looks like 2364. Oh, jeez. Oh, he, he did make a mess. She. She? She. she. Well. 10th Street East, Cedar Street. Accident property damage, red passenger car drove into a platform for transit, us. is requesting She looks like a she. But she don't she have a on the <coughs> <coughs> um, I can take that. There's a squad in the back. Sir, which call I have? Left by Nacho Call. That uh, PCN on Ames. Happy. 114 you can be clear from the east call. 114 received. Happy to be seen. There's all that can go 125. Okay, she was going through your garbage? She's going around. She's going around. 114? I'll stay available then. What you look like? Point 14, I apologize. I was responding to channel 3. I copy or 10-8. Yo, BWC. Copy. 228. Did you see that? And a gray, gray sweatshirt? Oh. Yeah. How long since you saw her last? Okay. Thank you. All right, white woman, about 50, 40 to 50, bleach oh. blonde hair, homeless, she believes she's homeless. <laughs> Think she might live around here somewhere, you know, going through the garbage. Four. We'll go check the other side. As you can see, hey, it's 371. I'm still uploading photos from the sit and run, but um, I'm not sure if my report from that missing person has been approved yet for the 2158 call. But if you guys have any questions, copy. 112, 122, you can stay clear.
2400, you can cancel the cars that we like. The party's GOA. Copy. 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 So, my guess is. back here somewhere sneaks up along the fence there to the 318 can you push out on a recovered property at Arlington and Arkwright with a stolen vehicle Minnesota Hotel Hotel Bravo 987 good work Copy. Arlington Arkwright, right. non-occupied. Actually, on, they're on the way to this call and they find a stolen. 300. As soon as uh, D2 clears their current calls or their reports, they can get to each other. See, is where the back of the gas station is. Sometimes mm -hmm. they... I'll walk up here. Vehicle is occupied. There's a male in the passenger seat. Okay. Copy 10 1 2 3 3 1 8. Occupied stolen vehicle. Alright, we're gonna go. Great to see you around. It's an arc ride. J-Mail. Arlington. Additional squad. We're on Westminster. Arlington and Arkwright. 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 Holding at 10-1-2-3. Squad coming 
to move sirens off. We don't want this guy waking up and taking off. Officers approaching our list and our great sirens off. You got your sticks rail, they're in the back there. The mail's away. There we go. The mail's away. Clear. Mails in custody. You can clear there. Copy. Mails in custody. Vehicles clear. Cancer 10 1 2 3 at 2 36. Well, that was exciting, huh? Yeah. A little too quick. Six, nine, <laughs> what do you mean? They got him too quick. Oh no, that's what we wanted, right? Right. Catch him sleeping. Right. Well, we could have been the car that took the front, but we were like when a department has them. Like we like to, we like to do our own too. Or they like to do their own, so we just add value added after the fact. Copy any squads on clear. Well, you added. Well, you added. Well, Rev, I suppose I should try to get you back to the barn. <laughs> now, you remember where my car is at this time? Yeah. Which is good, because I don't have to drive as far. Right? Right. But we'll, we'll go down Rice Street for the back seaters. I never like to jump on the freeway, you know. You miss a lot of stuff on the freeway. Why is your dashboard lights off? Well, I can control those, but oh, okay. let me explain why. On this car, the running lights stay on when you turn the headlights off, unless you do that. Now, that's not a terrible situation to have the running lights on, but there are times you don't want any lights on. Right. One time I was waiting for a stolen vehicle to cross the Ford Bridge, and I was hiding, okay? But I, didn't, I still had the running lights on. Oh. So those... Those dudes got halfway across, three quarters of the way across the Ford Bridge and they saw my running lights. Right? Uh oh. They did a U turn. Went back to Minneapolis. Now, I don't know if there's a way to make them so those running lights don't stay on, but I've learned over time I have to turn them off. And when I turn those running lights off, then it turns the dash stuff off. Not all of it.
Facebook. Facebook. Those other departments have started blocking cars in. Yeah, they had that one blocked in. Nice. They didn't always do that. And they still, I mean, the St. Paul's still not allowed to chase, but they've developed a bit to. 86 Nanolite, copy on ground to a domestic 82 Wood Street, Unit C, Charlie. Caller so 1, good. Central, from removed. PC can hear lots of arguing. Adriana Jans, Hispanic, female, 26 year old, 57, average build. Bring a gray shirt with well built trading and blue jeans. I guess, Is that back window? Oh, my God. Yep, we were here that day that guy crashed. Yeah, yeah that, that I think terrible. about it every time I pass. Yeah, Rob, like I was saying, I mean, we need some new experiences. Different parts of town that we haven't had bad things happen. Right. Gotta go to the Como Zoo. Think about all the fun times that are taking place there at Como Zoo. You know, you used to be able to throw apples to the bears. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I did. Yeah, the bears. Well, there's a couple different places where the bears are, but the bears used to have their on the back side. You could you could throw apples to the bears, and they would catch them and eat them. They would actually sell you apples to throw to them. <laughs> it's a true story. And uh, so one of the most fun things. When I was a young patrolman back in the 70s, or the late 70s, people used to sneak back into the bear area and do stupid things. <laughs> one, one time one guy fell into the bear area. Usually they were drunk. That wouldn't be fun. No. They would sometimes they would throw them other stuff to eat or tease them. I don't even know if they still have that area back there. I know they have indoor bears now. But you know the zookeepers the head zookeeper's name back then? No. John Fletcher. Oh. Yeah. No relation. But we, we always joked because I knew him in the 80s. We always joked that we were related. It, oh, that's a, a Mazda. Yeah. 370Z or 270Z? Well, let's get a little closer. Boom. 370Z. Remember the 280Z? Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful car. Yes. It's, it, you know, that car is gorgeous <clears throat> right up until you read the name of it. I mean, you got to give them credit. But you remember the original Mazdas were those engines that spun? Yeah, yeah. Right? Circle engines? I don't know what they are now. They were rotating engines. They were like a rotor. Well, I think we should end, the, end in front of the state capitol. We haven't done that for a long time. We'll get a view of the state capitol before we quit. Unless you're tired, you need to go sleep. He must be tired, folks, because he's not saying anything. <laughs> this light ever turns. Yes, it does. <laughs> but it's not for long. I'm 
I've never actually seen it turn. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> And then one time you told me it's because I pulled too far from the pressure plate. Yeah, now you're on the pressure plate. But the light's not turning. This is a faulty uh, light. There's no doubt about it. Is there a train coming? No. <laughs> Backseaters, thanks again for everything. Um, Pat will be back this week. Hopefully, he survived his own birthday. <laughs> Just remind him that he is the second oldest guy on the sheriff's office after Bill Finney. <laughs> and um, there's our beautiful state capitol. There it is. We're going to close out and say goodbye. Rev, uh, any final thoughts? Just keep being kind one to another. Remember, we're better together. Wow, that's a picture there. Isn't that beautiful? 326. Gorgeous. Take one of those hang-ups. Good night, everybody. Thanks.